Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. After being spotted by the vampire school beauty, I got numb. Chapter 21. Waiting for Xiao Yi was the affectionate sister Zhao Lin. Her eyes were red and she stopped Xiao Yi. Sister Zhao Lin is as gentle as water and quickly captured Xiao Yi. The two hugged each other, and Xiao Yi made countless promises to her. He was thinking about the future and how to tell his wife that he wanted to marry Sister Zhao Lin. Sister Zhao Lin kept echoing from the side and seemed to agree with everything. However, things are not that good. Sister Zhao Lin is a vampire. The reason why she seduces Xiao Yi is to suck his blood. Moreover, she also wants to embrace Xiao Yi for the first time and make him her blood servant. Poor Xiao Yi, all his affection is ridiculous. He thought he had a chance to be with Sister Zhao Lin, so he greeted Sister Zhao Lin every day, helped her with various things, and exhausted all his energy. What's even more ridiculous is that he always thought that he would have a future with Sister Zhao Lin. On countless nights, he dreamed that he and Sister Zhao Lin had given birth to many children, and they grew old together happily. Caught off guard, one dark night, Xiao Yi was embraced for the first time and became a vampire. The blood servant who is embraced for the first time will always become a vassal of the vampire clan, which is an indestructible yoke. Sister Zhao Lin has completely controlled Xiao Yi, and Xiao Yi will become Sister Zhao Lin's slave forever after being embraced for the first time. Yi Wei lowered his head. You should understand this story, right? There is only one thing that vampires can do to humans, and that is to suck blood and first embrace them to become blood servants. Apart from this, there is no other possibility. Don't have any illusions, thinking that you can have a real relationship with a vampire. Even if they are good to you, it is all an illusion, just a temporary novelty. Quote. Su Jay looked at Yi Wei, that Xiao Yi, is that you? Yes or no, it doesn't matter anymore. Yi Wei shook his head. Su Jay, I can give you a chance to leave. Now that Lin Shiqing is asleep, she won't find out that I let you go. I can also give you a sum of money, and you can go to a place far, far away, and Lin Shiqing will never find you again. If you want, I can send you away now. Quote. Su Jay looked at Yi Wei in surprise. You just need to nod or shake your head. Yi Wei stared at Su Jay. I don't want you to make the same mistake as Xiao Yi. It was impossible for Su Jay to leave. His system mission has already determined this. After a moment, he shook his head. No, I can't leave. Yi Wei looked at Su Jay in surprise. He didn't understand why the human had any reason not to leave. I have told him all the story of Xiao Yi, but he still wants to stay here. You must know that first love is not a good thing, it is a shackles that can completely lock everything about a person, including actions, thoughts, and even beliefs. A life without freedom is worse than death. Why, do you also want to become a blood servant and let the vampires control your thoughts and become a marionette-like existence? Yi Hui's deep voice echoed throughout the living room. Su Jie spoke slowly. I can't tell you the reason, but I really can't leave. Butler Yi, thank you for your story, but my mind will not change. Yi Wei closed his eyes. I'm afraid this kid will be like, Xiao Yi, in the future. He sighed feebly. I gave you a chance, as if I didn't say anything. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, staring at the empty ceiling, the story Yi Wei told just now kept coming to mind. If there was no system, Su Jie would definitely leave here. But he is systematic, he stays here because he needs to complete the task of being sucked. When he becomes stronger, things will have room to change, and he will not be slaughtered by the vampires casually. From the current point of view, Lin Shiqing is very dependent on Su Jie's blood, so she will not embrace him for the time being. After the first embrace, Su Jie became a vampire, so he couldn't become Lin Shiqing's food. From this point of view, Su Jie is safe for the time being. Looking at the UI interface in his mind, he saw four draws left. These four opportunities should bring me a relatively big improvement. Su Jie is still looking forward to these four opportunities to greatly improve his strength. In this way, he will have a lot of confidence in the future. It feels bad to have your destiny in the hands of others. Yi Hui's story shocked Su Jie greatly and made him feel more in danger. The vampire clan needs human blood, and needs the first embrace to turn them into blood servants. This makes no sense. He sympathizes with Yi Wei. He is a victim, but there are too many such victims. 
Countless humans will be treated like this by the vampires. Some are even much worse than Yi Wei. They are directly sucked to death and have no chance to be killed. First Embrace The weak eat the strong, a very simple law of nature. If it weren't for the vampire lady's rescue, Yi Wei might have died long ago, and he wouldn't be where he is today. Turning on the phone and playing the familiar BGM, Su J prepared to draw a lottery. Good luck to you, good luck to you. Click the lottery button and a golden light will flash. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward, all attributes plus 5. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward, all attributes plus 10. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward, all attributes plus 1. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward, skill transform into a vampire. When he heard the first three rewards, Su Jie's expression was dull. Because these rewards are considered commonplace and completely expected. Moreover, the bonus points for all attributes are quite stingy, and there are actually plus 5 and plus 1. But the last reward seems to be very exciting. He turned his attention to the skill introduction. Transform into a vampire. Get the power of a vampire and become a vampire. The skills can be used at any time without cooling down. Note, after transforming into a vampire, it will be equivalent to the corresponding realm and blood purity according to the current attributes. After reading the introduction, Su J showed a satisfied smile. This skill allows him to transform into a vampire so that he can better integrate into the vampire. But he would definitely not use this skill casually. He didn't know if the vampires had that kind of rejection behavior, but according to preliminary speculation, there was a high probability that it did. The battle between the Western and Eastern vampire families, and within it, there must be friction between the various families. If he becomes a vampire and is discovered by Lin Xiqing's family, he will definitely be treated as an alien and will only be killed. Only by hiding your secrets can you be effective at critical moments. All attributes increased by 16 points, and Su Jie's attributes were greatly improved. Host, Su Jie, Strength, 40, Spirit, 42, Speed, 41, Defense, 38, Skills, Time Stop, Elementary, Transformation into a Vampire. Just when he was about to exit the UI interface, he suddenly discovered that a button appeared in the upper right corner of the lottery interface. Prize pool, I clicked subconsciously, and then a prompt appeared on the light screen. Current prize pool, first level prize pool. If you want to upgrade to the second level prize pool, the average personal attribute point needs to exceed 50. Sorry, your current average attribute value is less than 50, so you cannot open the secondary prize pool. After thinking about it, Su J understood. It turns out that the prize pool has high and low levels. He has been in the first level prize pool before, so no matter how good the things he draws, there is an upper limit. If you want to draw better things, you must increase the prize pool. It's a very simple truth, the more advanced the prize pool, the higher the probability of getting good things. The endless darkness has engulfed Yi Wei completely. Yi Hui's room is very clean, except for some necessary daily necessities, there is nothing else. The curtains were tightly drawn, not letting in any light, and the whole room seemed to be locked in an iron box. The prototype of Xiao Yi is indeed him. As a vampire who has lived for more than 400 years, his memory of those dusty past events is already somewhat blurry. But in his mind, he can still often think of that chaotic era. A very strange thing, he had experienced many things in history books. And according to his memory, there are many contents in history books that are incorrect. On the one hand, when dynasties change, history is always written by the victors, and the authenticity of history books will be problematic. On the other hand, history itself is difficult to completely record. The real history will always be engraved in the memory of everyone in that dynasty and cannot be verified at all. From that era to modern times step by step, I have experienced too much and seen too much. Many times, Yi Wei often fantasizes about what would have happened to him if he had not met Lin Meng. Yes, Lin Meng is his master, and she is also sister Xiao Lin in the story. It was she who first embraced Yi Wei and made him her vassal and eternal slave. People who have never experienced a first embrace will never imagine how painful it is. When the blood in the body and the blood of the vampires are mixed together and collide in the small body, the sky is dark and the earth is dark, heartbreaking. 
even coma is a luxury, and the extremely clear perception magnifies the pain ten thousand times. Yi Wei survived, but what greeted him was not heaven, but a more cruel hell. He still remembered the day when he officially became Lin Meng's blood servant. He broke away from the endless pain, and then felt the despair of being completely dominated by Lin Meng. Just a thought from Lin Meng can make him miserable. His actions were controlled, and he had only one option to execute Lin Meng's orders. Yi Wei had no choice. The obedience engraved in his bones allowed him to serve the Lin family for nearly 400 years. When he saw Su Jie, he saw his own shadow, a poor guy who was about to be fooled by the vampire lady. Today was a perfect opportunity. He originally planned to save Su Jie, but this kid didn't listen to him and stubbornly stayed here. Yi Wei couldn't figure out what kind of ecstasy drug Lin Xiching gave Su Jie. After sighing deeply, there was nothing he could do. He can believe that in a few months or a few years, the Lin family will have another blood servant named Su Jie. What is more painful than being unable to stop it is watching the tragedy happen. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, Jinding Tower, a super tall building with 299 floors, is very eye-catching in the entire Binhai. On the rooftop of the building, there were two figures standing on the edge. They were overlooking everything under their feet without any safety measures. At such a high place, there is a strong and turbulent wind. If they are not careful, a disaster awaits them. Kasha, where do you think this vampire from the east is? The intelligence clearly states that it is in Binhai, but after several days of investigation, we still have no clue. Who knows, maybe that information is false, Kevin, are you sure there is nothing wrong with that information? There must be nothing wrong, but there is good news. The, Lord, has told me a new clue. What new clue? The tall figure on the left turned slightly sideways and looked at the strong figure on the right. The Lin group may be a breakthrough. As you know, many ancient eastern vampire families will manage some industries outside. The information given by the Lord is that the Lin group is an industry of an eastern vampire family. As long as we keep up with the managers of this group, we will definitely get useful information. We will definitely be able to kill several eastern vampires and devour their blood essence. You and I will be more confident in breaking through to the seventh level. Quote, Kevin's voice was a little excited, and such emotion couldn't help but make Kasha also become excited. If we can break through the seventh level, we will receive more attention and our status in the family will rise a lot. I am already looking forward to that day. Having the help of the Lord is our greatest advantage. Those ants in the family are nothing in front of the Lord. Kevin looked dismissively, with fanaticism in his eyes. The next moment, he jumped down his body falling rapidly under the influence of gravity, and disappeared into the dark fog. A smile formed on Kasha's lips, and she followed closely. The rooftop returned to silence, as if there was no one here just now. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. The next day, Su Jie felt a little uncomfortable without Lin Xiching calling him to get up. He got up at four o'clock to run for two consecutive days, and he surprisingly adapted to it. Is it because of the rapid improvement of his attributes that his adaptability has also made a qualitative leap? He couldn't tell clearly, but he felt there should be some connection. What's more important is that now he can't even feel sleepy after 4 o'clock. It was as if every cell in his body was reminding him to go for a run outdoors. The power of habit is really powerful, Su Jie said with emotion. Since you can't sleep, go out and run a few laps. Both strength and speed exceeded 40, and he also wanted to see how much his speed had improved. As soon as he walked out of the room, Yi Wei suddenly appeared in front of Su Jie. His sudden appearance startled Su Jie. Steward Yi, why did you come out so suddenly? It scared me to death. Su Jie was still frightened. What are you going to do? Run. Yi Hui's expression was a little strange. He felt that he could not understand the boy in front of him more and more. 400 years of age is like living on a dog. This guy really doesn't play by the rules. I'll ask you one more thing about last night. There's still time, otherwise you won't be able to leave until Lin Xiching wakes up. Tell me, what's your answer? Quote, after tossing and turning all night, Yi Wei was still unwilling to watch the tragedy happen. So early in the morning, he came over to ask Su Jie again, planning to give him another chance. 
Su Jie shook his head decisively. Steward Yi, even if you ask me a hundred times, my answer is no. Quote dot dot dot, stubborn boy, you will regret it. After Yi Wei said these words, he turned around and left. It looked like he was really angry. Su Jie stared at his back and thought to himself. No matter what you say, Butler Yi is a good person. He didn't want to let himself follow his old path, so he tried to persuade him several times. But what he never expected was that Su Jie had something in his hands that was enough to be invincible, the system. He remembered all the help Yi Wei gave him. If he becomes stronger in the future, Su Jie will definitely help him and kill the sister Xiao Ellen who embraced him for the first time. Once the blood servant's master dies, the blood servant will regain his freedom and usher in a new future. Killing, Sister Zhao Lin also means making Yi Wei the master of his own body and regaining his life. It was still early, the sun had not yet risen, and Su Jie's figure kept shuttling through the forest paths at a very fast speed. He planned to test his fastest speed. Taking a deep breath, he exerted force on his legs, coordinated his waist and abdomen, and shot out quickly like a sharp arrow. There was a whistling wind in his ears, and Su Jie felt as if he was about to fly. In about five seconds, he actually ran a distance of more than 100 meters. Su Jie originally thought it would be fast, but he didn't expect it to be so fast. The 100 meter speed standard for second level athletes is 11.5 seconds, but my time is actually half of this standard. It becomes more and more difficult to increase speed. It is already impossible for humans to reach 100 meters in 5 seconds. This means that his strength now exceeds that of humans, at least that's what it seems for now. On the surface, the peak human speed of 100 meters is 9.58 seconds, and Su Jie's speed is nearly 5 seconds faster. And in his 5 seconds, there is still a certain amount of acceleration time. If the acceleration time at the start is removed, his time will be even shorter. Looking at his hands, Su Jie was shocked. However, since his attribute value is now five to six times that of ordinary people, it is reasonable for him to be able to reach this level. He didn't run for too long today. He just tested his speed, ran a few laps, and then turned back. I finally had a chance to take a break, there was no need to work so hard. On the way back, he happened to meet Yi Wei who was out. There is food in the refrigerator. You can eat whatever you want. I'll go out. Yi Wei warned, and then left in a hurry. Watching Yi Hui's car gradually go away, Su Jie felt at ease. The next moment, he suddenly realized that he seemed to have not been to school for several days. Going to school was not a happy thing, so after thinking about it, he decided to continue skipping classes. It seems that there is another class with Zhu Mengying today. She was furious when she didn't go to class last time. She couldn't see her again this time. She didn't know what would happen to her. For such an extremely strict teacher, his behavior undoubtedly touched her red line. But what does that matter? Only the weak will abide by the rules, and the strong will only trample on them. Su Jie shook his head and walked into the villa. I hadn't paid much attention to it before, but Lin Xiching's villa was actually covered by a group of woods. This is probably done to improve concealment and security. If you want to discover this place, unless you know it in advance, you will definitely be confused by the woods outside. After passing the hall and walking into the kitchen, Su Jie followed Yi Hui's previous method and started preparing classic sandwiches. Making a sandwich is not difficult. The only thing you need to pay attention to is that the bread slices must be toasted moderately. If you don't control it well, it will easily burn. Su Jie prepared the food and had a hearty meal, feeling that every cell in his body was jumping for joy. A feeling of fatigue came over him. Su Jie yawned. He originally planned to go to bed, but before that, he had to try the skill, transform into a vampire, that he got in yesterday's lottery. Vampires, before he met Lin Xiching, he thought they were a race that only existed in legends. Su Jie was very curious about what their power was. It happened that there was no one in the villa at this time, and Lin Xiching was still sleeping. Now is the most appropriate time to experiment with skills, and the opportunity should not be missed. But before that, it was necessary to confirm whether Lin Xiching was awake. After transforming into a vampire, it should cause relatively large fluctuations. If Lin Xiching had woken up, she would have noticed it immediately. 
In order to hide the secret, he had to try it without Lin Xiqing noticing. After walking through the 13 black crystal steps, Su Jie arrived at the second floor. Gently pushing open the door of Lin Xiqing's room, Su Jie saw that the figure on the bed was still there, her body curled up like a baby in her mother's womb. The soft and white arms were hugged together, and the thin eyebrows were slightly wrinkled. This sleeping position is a sign of lack of security. In the corner, Xiao Fen noticed the movement at the door. It was a little nervous at first and relaxed after seeing that it was Su Jie. Lin Xiqing, she is not as powerful as her appearance shows. Su Jie said softly. After seeing Lin Xiqing still sleeping, Su Jie closed the door and returned to his room downstairs. He is about to start preparing to use his skills. Transform into a vampire. Su Jie muttered to himself and tried to use skills. The next moment, he felt an especially wonderful feeling coming from deep within his body. But this feeling did not last long, and a sharp pain began to travel rapidly up and down the body. The pain was not unbearable, Su Jie insisted while observing the changes in his body. There was a sting at the corner of his mouth. Su Jie touched it with his hand and found that it was fangs growing. A few white sharp fangs grew at a very fast speed and were already touching the lips. He quickly opened his mouth to prevent his fangs from piercing his lips. He suddenly felt that his heart began to gradually stop beating. The slower and slower beating made his whole body become cold, and his blood gradually stopped flowing. In order to better observe his changes, Su Jie walked to the bathroom and stood in front of the floor-length mirror. A somewhat thin boy with very obvious muscle lines appeared in the mirror. Su Jie is very satisfied with the fact that although his attribute values are constantly improving, the size of his body's muscles has not doubled several times like the attribute points, but the density and strength have increased tremendously. To be honest, Su Jie has no interest in becoming a muscular tyrant. Moderate muscles attract the opposite gender, but excessive muscles may only attract the salmon. He had seen some really obsessive muscular tyrants. They were so big that even Su Jie felt scared when he looked at them. It cannot be said that they have no sense of beauty, but they have nothing to do with beauty. Maybe this is his aesthetic. Maybe in the eyes of some people, such big muscles are more attractive. The severe pain did not last long. After five minutes, the pain receded like a tide. Looking at himself in the mirror, Su Jie found that he had become a lot whiter, and at the same time, there was an erratic red light shining in his eyes. At the same time, a strange energy seemed to be born in his lower abdomen, about five centimeters above his navel. He tried to mobilize the energy in his lower abdomen, and then he saw a flash of crystal red spreading on his fingertips. He had an impression of this energy. Wasn't it the blood red energy that helped Lin Xiqing heal her wounds every time she drank blood? It's just that this is the first time he has transformed into a vampire, so he doesn't know yet how to manipulate this energy. At present, he can only rely on a subconscious feeling to let the energy reach his fingertips from his lower abdomen. When the energy appears, he can no longer restrain it and can only watch the energy dissipate out of thin air. Tried for a long time but made no progress. Because of many attempts, he could feel the energy in his body decreasing, and at the same time, a feeling of exhaustion surged into his heart. The depletion of blood-red energy forced Su Jie to temporarily stop. He then used the skill again and became human. It has to be said that he gained a lot from this attempt. Transforming into a vampire really allowed him to see a different world. From the vampire's perspective, the whole world is much clearer and has a hazy blood color. He felt that if he came here a few more times, he might fall in love with that feeling. If he could fully utilize the blood-red energy, his strength would be qualitatively improved. It's just that if you want to completely control it, it will definitely take some time to explore. When I turned on my phone, it was already 8.20 in the morning. As soon as he turned into a human, he seemed to be hollowed out. He lay limply on the bed. According to Su Jie's speculation, it was probably because he had consumed too much blood-red energy just now, which led to his exhaustion of physical strength. Sleeping was undoubtedly a good way to replenish his energy, so he immediately closed his eyes. At this time, Zhang Zilin sent a message. What are you doing, kid? I haven't seen you come to class for two days. Do you really not want your diploma? Single quote. Other teachers are okay, 
They haven't called their names, but I would like to remind you that today's first class is Zhu Mengying's class. Are you sure you still don't come? Single quote. If you don't come again, there will really be no room for maneuver. If you do this, will your kid get rich? Has your home been demolished? Single quote. Su Jie glanced at the message and put down his phone. The first period was the class of Zhu Mengying, the most severe math teacher in his major. But even the lessons from Heavenly King Lao Su can't stop him from sleeping. Although Su Jie wanted to reply to the message, the fatigue surging in his body made him give up. Before long, he fell into a deep sleep. At the same moment, in Linghai building in Binhai City, Yi Wei was handling various reports seriously. As a housekeeper, his professional ability is naturally good. He went to the ocean more than 20 years ago, studied for an MBA on the other side of the ocean, and obtained a master's degree with nearly full marks. Coupled with the experience in managing companies accumulated over the years, Yi Wei is very comfortable in managing the entire huge Lin group. The entire company has continued to develop under his overall planning and has now become a huge company with thousands of employees. I hurried over in the morning to handle some business. After working for a long time, I finally arranged things properly. Xiao Zhou, come here, I'll tell you about my arrangements for the next period of time, and you convey my meaning to every department. Yi Wei said to a woman at the door wearing a professional hip skirt and a crisp white work shirt. Zhou Xueming has a hot figure and a beautiful and generous appearance. More importantly, she is very capable and completes the tasks assigned by Yi Wei well every time, which makes her become Yi Hui's right-hand man. After giving some instructions on the work, Yi Wei added, I will be busy in the next week or even a month, so I may not come to the company. All things are temporarily decided by you. If there is anything you feel you cannot decide, try contact me, if you can't get in touch, it will be postponed temporarily. You've been an assistant for so long, you should know what to do. Quote. Zhou Xueming nodded, and a clear voice sounded. I understand, Mr. Yi. Well, in that case, I'm relieved. Yi Wei immediately let Zhou Xueming leave, sat on his seat, and sighed. He received Lin Meng's summons this morning, and it seemed that the tribe had encountered some trouble. And they, the blood servants who manage the property outside, must also be called back to the family to protect the safety of the clan. Lin Xiqing's father, Lin Xiaohua, also called him, which probably meant that he was asked to go back alone. The situation this time is more dangerous. If Lin Xiqing is allowed to go back together, she will be too weak to even protect herself, and she will undoubtedly be a burden. It would be safer to let Lin Xiqing stay outside. I don't know if the lady is awake now. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E Rubbing his swollen temples, Yi Wei sent a message to Lin Xiqing. Miss, I was summoned by my family and need to return to my clan temporarily. You don't have to worry. In addition, the recent situation is a bit tense. You and Su Jie should stay in the villa and don't go out to avoid being discovered by the Western vampires. Single quote. Lin Xiqing should be able to see this news after she wakes up. It's time to go back. The tribe's land is very far away. If we set out now, we might not be able to reach it until early in the morning. Yi Wei took one last look at the office, then opened the door and walked out quickly. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, I hacked into the traffic monitoring system. According to the monitoring of the intersection, I found that Yi Hui's vehicle first appeared at an intersection 500 meters away from Xilin Villa. From this, I can infer that the Eastern Blood Clan's home base is most likely in Xilin Mountain Villa. There are 16 surveillance pictures spread out on Kasha's computer. Among these pictures, there is a lot of traffic and vehicles are constantly passing by. Standing next to Keisha is Kevin. The two of them are the two western vampires who jumped from the Jinding building before. I didn't expect your hacking skills to be so effective at this time. Yes, it really helped us a lot. Kevin nodded with a satisfied look on his face. In the evening, we can go to Xilin Villa, where we will definitely be able to find what we want. Kasha has already begun to look forward to it. I just don't know how many eastern vampires there will be. It would be nice if there were more. This is the east. It is already very difficult to find vampires here. It is good to have more vampires, but it will also bring great risks. Try not to make a big noise tonight. Otherwise, if there are many vampires in the east, we will become prey. 
Kasha said rationally. You're right, it's always right to be cautious. Although there is help from the Lord, this is the home court of the Eastern Blood Clan after all. We must be careful here. Kevin nodded in agreement. Dot 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 dot. The location of the clan land is in a hidden valley. If there is no accurate location, it is extremely difficult to find it. Yi Wei had to change to three means of transportation, plane, ship, car, and finally contacted the family leader at the foot of the mountain, who would take him to the clan area. At this time, Yi Wei had already boarded the plane. At the last step of the stairs, he suddenly stopped. He glanced back subconsciously, and for some reason, he felt a bad premonition creeping into his heart. Sir, please hurry up, there are passengers behind you. The flight attendant's soft voice brought Yi Wei back to his senses, and he nodded and walked into the cabin. That premonition must be just an illusion, well, it must be. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, Su J woke up from his sleep and opened his eyes slightly. Ah, he quickly got up from the bed and said to Lin Xiqing, who was slowly getting up from the bed, Lin Xiqing, why are you putting your head so close to me? You scared me to death. As soon as Su J woke up, he saw a pair of blood-red eyes staring at him, which frightened him so much that he almost fell up under the bed. You seem very tired, and your blood energy has also dropped a lot. It seems that the bloodletting I performed on you this morning was effective. I said, your blood cannot be endless, and your blood energy should not have any fluctuations. No, Lin Xiqing said, minding her own business. Su Jie knew in his heart that it was not the decrease in blood energy and physical strength caused by bloodletting, but the result of excessive consumption of blood-red energy after he transformed into a vampire. But on the surface, he still obeyed Lin Xiqing's words and nodded, that's true. Lin Xiqing woke up two hours ago. A little more than half of the blood she sucked in yesterday morning has been digested. After the blood was digested, she could clearly feel that her strength had improved a lot. This has never been done before using a blood bag. The purity of her bloodline has also increased to a certain extent. Although this improvement is not too great, it is still amazing enough. Now the purity of her bloodline is not comparable to that of the 12th generation vampires, but among the 13th generation vampires, she is definitely the best. She had a feeling that she only needed to drink Su Jie's blood a few more times before she could break through to the fourth level of the last vampire clan. The changes that Su Jie's blood brought to her were simply unbelievable. Even advanced potions might not have such an effect. One thing is that my recent strength increase has suddenly become much faster and the purity of my bloodline has also been significantly improved. Su Jie, this is all due to your blood. Quote. Lin Xiqing stared at Su Jie, her eyes a little complicated. Su Jie was stunned when he heard this, and thought to himself that the rapid increase in his various attribute points seemed to be helpful in improving the quality of his blood. The increase in the quality of her own blood can also improve Lin Xiqing's strength and bloodline. In this way, a cycle is formed. First of all, after Su Jie is sucked by Lin Xiqing's blood, his attribute points will be improved, and he will also receive certain attribute points through lottery. The increase in attribute points will lead to an increase in blood quality, and after Lin Xiqing absorbs higher quality blood, her strength will also increase accordingly. Lin Xiqing continued to suck Su Jie's blood. The more she sucked, the higher the quality of Su Jie's blood would be, and the more it would improve Lin Xiqing's strength. If this continues, the final result will be that the strength of the two of them increases together. It is undoubtedly a win-win situation. It's a good thing that your strength has improved. Congratulations, Su Jie nodded and said. Su Jie, your physique is really amazing. If you keep doing this, my strength will definitely be greatly improved. Lin Xiqing sat beside the bed with a thoughtful look on her face. There's one more thing I have to tell you. Uncle Yi has returned to his clan, and he will probably have to wait a while before he can come back. So recently, you have to stay at home with me to avoid accidents. Quote. Su Jie's eyes change. I happened to meet Butler Yi going out in the morning. He seemed to be in a hurry. What happened to the clan? Lin Xiqing shook her head. I don't know, there should be some outsiders with bad intentions, and they should have launched some attacks on us. This is not the first time. Whenever the family encounters a crisis, clan members who are away from home must return to the family as soon as possible to protect the safety of the clan. Quote. 
You are also a tribesman, won't you go back? Su Jie couldn't help but ask. I'm still too weak to protect myself. Returning to my clan will only cause more trouble. It's safer to stay outside. Lin Shiqing replied and sighed. I hope the family can survive this disaster smoothly, and I also hope that my parents and Uncle Yi will return safely. I will definitely do it, Su Jie comforted. The two of them suddenly didn't know what to say. The empty bedroom fell into silence for a moment. Lin Shiqing lowered her head slightly, her delicate profile showing a hint of worry. Jingle bell. Too long, too long, has it been too long? A magnetic male voice rang out along with the music. It was Su Jie's cell phone ringing. He quickly walked to the bed and picked up the phone. Who is calling him at this time? I unlocked my phone with some confusion and saw the words, Mother, Your Majesty, at the top of the screen. Glancing at Lin Shiqing, she seemed to have no intention of leaving. She looked at Su Jie, her eyes seeming to say, What are you doing standing there in a daze? Answer the phone. Su Jie looked embarrassed, coughed, and explained, Well, I'll answer the phone. Okay, Lin Shiqing nodded, her expression as usual. Seeing that Lin Shiqing still didn't get up, Su Jie simply let her leave without making any innuendo. As a vampire, her five senses are very keen. Even if she is allowed to go out, she can still hear what she is saying. After clicking answer, Su Jie saw his mother's face appear on the screen. Xiao Jie, Zhang Shuan said happily when she saw her son across the screen. How are you lately? I haven't called you for a long time. Are you studying hard there? Don't know how to study every day. I heard from your aunt Lee next door that undergraduate degrees are really worthless now. It's hard to find a good job. You'd better get a graduate degree. You are now a sophomore. Consider this matter, you know. Quote. After hearing his mother's words, Su Jie responded, I know, don't worry. Don't promise well but do nothing all day long, you know. If you are short of money, tell your mother that you can fall in love properly at your age, but you can't delay your studies. Zhang Shuan continued to warn. But why did it get dark so fast over there? It's already dark at this time. Zhang Shuan asked in confusion. There was only one desk lamp turned on in the room, making it a bit dark. It was only six o'clock now, and it was naturally not dark in Binjong at this time. However, Su Jie had closed the curtains when he went to bed in the morning, so the sunlight could not shine in. Su Jie replied, I just closed the curtains, it shouldn't be dark yet. Why are you closing the curtains? You're not sleeping until now, are you? Zhang Shuan asked alertly. A wise son is like a mother. Su Jie couldn't help but sigh in his heart. You stay up all night at home, why are you still like this when you go to school? This is not good for your health. Why are you so disobedient? Zhang Shuan said angrily. Su Jie said helplessly, I didn't. How could I just get up now? It's almost night now. The keen Ma Su quickly observed an important clue. Look at your hair, it's almost like a chicken coop, and you're saying it's not just hair. Xiaoj, if you keep staying up late like this, your dad and I will have to lower your living expenses. You have to have a regular schedule, you hear me. Quote. Su Jie quickly agreed. At the same time, he felt that the phone was a little slippery, so he adjusted the position in his hand. The thumb is moving, preparing to sweep across the screen. The flip lens button suddenly flashed. Su Jie was stunned. He never expected that when he was adjusting the position of his phone, he accidentally touched it. I just clicked the button to flip the camera. Now he has the front camera turned on, and after flipping the lens, the rear camera activates immediately. The rear camera was facing Lin Shiqing sitting beside the bed. Su Jie quickly tried to turn the camera over, but Zhang Shuan still saw it clearly. Xiao Jie, why is there a girl hiding in your room? What are you doing? Zhang Shuan said quickly, she felt like she had discovered an incredible secret. My son has found a partner and is living with him. Mom, there is no such thing as a girl. You saw it wrong, Su Jie said perfunctorily, feeling anxious. Nonsense, I clearly saw it just now. Tell me honestly, are you dating someone and bringing her girl home? Su Jie was a little worried. Just when he didn't know how to explain, a cold female voice suddenly came from behind him. Hello, aunt, I am Lin Shiqing, a classmate of Su Jie. I don't know when Lin Shiqing suddenly walked up behind him. 
Zhang Xuan couldn't help but be stunned when she saw Lin Shiqing on the screen. Just now, Su Jie turned on the rear camera and then turned it off quickly, so Lin Shiqing's figure flashed past, and Zhang Xuan didn't see it clearly at all. But at this moment, Lin Shiqing's face came to the screen and became very clear. What a beautiful girl. This is Zhang Xuan's first feeling. Fair and soft skin, facial features just right and delicate. Is your son successful? Found such a beautiful girlfriend. Su Jie turned his head and looked at Lin Shiqing who was smiling beside him, feeling a little numb. Mom must have misunderstood. Hello, hello. Zhang Xuan greeted her quickly after coming back to her senses. Auntie. I'm discussing with Su Jie about studying. Don't worry, I will urge him to study. Lin Shiqing showed a harmless smile. Of course that's good. Xiaoj needs someone to supervise him, otherwise he won't even want to study. I feel more at ease when you study with him. By the way, classmate, what's your name? Quote, my name is Lin Shiqing, you can just call me Xiao Lin. Su Jie listened and cursed. Mom, I don't know whether to say it or not. In fact, Considering her age, you can't even call her grandma. One is 180 years old and the other is in his 40s. The 180-year-old calls the 40-year-old aunt. The painting style was a bit messy for a while. Xiao Lin, since you are studying, I won't disturb you. Xiao Jie still needs your care over there. Okay, Lin Shiqing showed a polite smile. Zhang Xuan was happy but also a little worried. Although Lin Shiqing is a classmate on the surface, a man and a woman alone in the same bedroom do not look like simple classmates. From this point of view, even if Lin Shiqing is not her son's girlfriend, she is not much different. This girl is indeed beautiful, but finding a beautiful girlfriend is not necessarily a good thing. It is not said now that the prettier girls have more fun. My son has never been in love, so I'm afraid he is no match for such a beautiful girl. Sus mother suddenly became worried. But looking at this girl's face, she doesn't look like a bad girl. No, I have to interrogate Xiao later to find out how they met. By the way, he also asked the girl about her basic situation to prevent Xiao from being deceived again. Last time, that senior sister Shu Ru acted one thing on the outside and another behind the scenes. She actually stepped on several boats, which seriously injured Xiao Jie. He didn't eat much for a month and lost a lot of weight. Boys should be careful when going out. Zhang Xuan was convinced, and she then said, Xiao, I'll hang up now, and I'll call you later. After the video call ended, Su Jie turned to look at Lin Shiqing. Miss Lin, are you walking silently? Why did you come here directly like a piao? Lin Shiqing shrugged. I just walked a few steps quickly, but by the way, your mother is quite young. That is, although my mother is over 40 years old, she takes good care of herself. Of course, she cannot compare with your vampires, but compared with other people of the same age, she is at least 10 years younger. Su Jie said proudly said. Appearance is a dominant gene, and the appearance of children is largely limited by their parents. Su Jie's parents are both good-looking, so his facial features must not be much different. Actually, I sometimes think that being a human is good, but being a vampire is not entirely a good thing. Ha, huh, why? Su Jie asked doubtfully, I'm afraid you're not in Versailles. Having eternal life, being strong, never aging, and being forever young are what many humans pursue. Why is this not a good thing? Feel life, old age, sickness and death, try to do what you want to do in the limited time, spend your life in a hurry, and then enter the reincarnation. How fulfilling, and I was born 180 years ago, and I have been living in the clan and the city. Living on the edge, only emptiness and boredom remain. In human society, many things cannot be done. I still need to hide my identity, I am timid, and I cannot meet new people. I only have my little fans to accompany me. This kind of life is not interesting at all. Quote. Lin Shiqing's expression was a little complicated. I can see that you have a very good relationship with your parents, and I can't see my parents a few times a year. Maybe it's because there are many things in the clan. I can understand them. During the time without their company, Uncle Yi often had to go out to do business in the company, and I was alone at home. Sometimes I would just be in a daze for three or four days. I want to find someone to talk to, but I can't let them know that I'm a vampire, which means I won't be able to make real friends. 
sometimes I really feel that the identity of the vampires is not pride, but a biting curse. Quote. Lin Shiqing's body suddenly became much softer. When Su Jie had a video call with her mother just now, many scenes of her getting along with her parents suddenly appeared in Lin Shiqing's mind. It's just that those images are a bit old. Long time no see, she really misses them. Su Jie's mind suddenly recalled the figure curled up in a ball on the bed in the morning. Lin Shiqing's pretendingly cold body hides a fragile heart. The next moment, he hugged Lin Shiqing directly. Two bodies, one cold and one warm. Su Jie hugged Lin Shiqing completely in his arms, and he could feel Lin Shiqing trembling slightly in his arms. It's okay. If you have me with you from now on, you won't be alone. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. When Lin Shiqing recalled the feeling of being in Su Jie's arms just now, she felt like she was going crazy. She was holding a stuffed bear in her arms, with little pink on her shoulders, and her expression was a bit unnatural. What a spur of the moment. Has Su Jie taken advantage of him? But she didn't seem to be disgusted with his embrace. His embrace was warm and made her feel comfortable. I have to say that I seem to be becoming more and more inseparable from him. His blood, his companionship, his voice. According to the relevant information she found on the internet, it is very likely that she has fallen in love with Su Jie. But how is this possible? Do not believe. What's good about that human being is that being with him makes me feel happy. This doesn't mean that I will like him. That must be it. Lin Shiqing's expression returned to its former cold look. Jingle bell. The cell phone rang suddenly. Lin Shiqing answered the phone with doubts. Hello, is this Miss Lin? I'm Mr. Yi's assistant Zhou Shuemeng. We've met before. Do you still have any impressions? Zhou Shuemeng. Lin Shiqing thought about it. When she went to the company before, she seemed to have seen such a person. It seems there is. What's wrong? Is there something wrong? It's like this. Mr. Yi asked me to find a person's information the day before yesterday and send it to you after I find it. I have already sent it to your mailbox. You can take a look and tell me if you have any deficiencies. Zhou Shuemeng said. The day before yesterday was the day when I went to his rental house with Su J. She saw the photo of Su J and an unknown girl on the wall. In order to learn more about Su Jie, Lin Shiqing asked Uncle Yi to investigate the girl. I didn't expect to find out so soon. After hanging up the phone, Lin Shiqing opened her mailbox. Not long after Zhou Shuemeng's email was sent, she immediately clicked on it. Xu Ru, a native of Zhangzhou City, Zhongguling Province, is a junior at Binhai University. Relationship with the boy in the photo, ex-girlfriend. According to crawling relevant information on the school forum and asking some students, it is basically certain that Shu Ru was dating several boys at the same time. After Su J found out, the two officially broke up. High frequency keywords related to Shu Ru in the forum green tea, beauty, buses, rich people's toys, ordinary things. A lot of information about Shu Ru was found on Binhai University's online forum. Like many universities, Binhai University also has its own online forum with many posts from students. Things like gossip, course help, flea markets, dot the forums all have relevant content. On the internet, everyone wears a mask and no one knows who each other is, so many people will speak freely without caring about anything. The most popular part of the forum is the hanging area, where people with bad deeds are hanged out and publicly executed. Some of them are made out of nothing, but most of them are real situations. College students in the 21st century are not pure white lotuses. Living in the ivory tower on campus, they feel the huge separation between spiritual and material things, which can breed some unappetizing things. Shu Ru was exposed two months ago. Because she has good looks and a good figure, Shu Ru has contacts with many boys in the school and manages her time very well. Several of her dating partners don't even know about each other's existence. Shu Ru is indeed a female Aquaman and a master of time management. She could go to three appointments in one night without changing her expression, her heart not beating, and she could tell all kinds of lies to justify herself. Shu Ru concealed it very well, but the fire could not be hidden in the paper. One of the people she was dating finally found some clues. After some follow-up investigation, he got the evidence of Shu Ru's cheating. These include many videos taken following Shu Ru, as well as some audio recordings. In the face of this evidence, Shu Ru had no chance to defend herself. 
The boy, who had green hair and was full of indignation, posted the whole story to the forum, and with detailed evidence, the whole forum was instantly detonated. After this incident, Shu Ru was ruined in school. So it turns out that Su Jie was cheated on, so he broke up with Shu Ru. Lin Shiqing said thoughtfully. Keep looking down. After further investigation, Shu Ru is currently dating Lu Zifeng, a junior at Binhai University. Lu Zifeng is the eldest son of the director of filing group, and his family is well off, so he becomes Shu Ru's hunting target. After the forum post incident, Shu Ru's reputation in school was very bad, but because of her beautiful appearance and proud figure, she still attracted many young men from rich families, and they all wanted to play with her. Shu Ru's only criteria for finding a partner is money. She is a textbook level, money digger. Now she is still the same as before, chatting with several people at the same time. Just for fun, many wealthy young men are willing to pay a little money in exchange for dating Shu Ru for a period of time and a few nights. At the same time, these wealthy young men would also introduce Shu Ru to their friends from other schools, euphemistically calling it, sharing, but in fact they just exchanged it. Before the forum post incident, Shu Ru was still pretending to be a dedicated and innocent person, but now she is too lazy to pretend. After breaking the rules, she dated more rich second generation people. What's the difference between this and what's for sale? Lin Shiqing shook her head, feeling that Su Jie was not worth it. But having such a woman taught Su Jie a lesson was also a kind of experience. After experiencing this incident, Su Jie will probably be more sensitive and cautious in his feelings in the future. Such a woman is really rotten to the core. She is so arrogant that she clings to the rich second generation just for a better material life. There is nothing wrong with Shu Ru and other rich second generation people who would rather fight than suffer. What really disgusts her is deceiving a novice like Su Jie into her feelings, and her lack of single-mindedness in dealing with feelings. What a cheap woman. Suddenly, Lin Shiqing wanted to vent her anger on Su Jie. She wants to teach that bad woman a lesson. But how to do it? Looking at the computer screen, Lin Shiqing fell into deep thought. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. It's right here, Shi Lin Villa. Kasha, dressed in black, looked at the ancient community in front of her, and gradually became convinced that this was the place she was looking for. Kevin, who was standing next to Kasha, looked through the information on his phone, and then nodded, it should be right, according to the map, this is the only place where Yi Wei may live. At the same time, there is a high probability that this is the home base of the Eastern Vampire Clan. Quote, the two Western vampires couldn't wait to drink the essence and blood. In their eyes, these Eastern vampires were a feast that could only be met but not sought. According to the previous plan, we'd better go in first and see how many Eastern vampires there are. If there are too many people, then retreat first. Kasha whispered. I know, but we are still the last generation of the sixth level vampires, and there is really nothing to be afraid of in the East. Hasn't the, Lord, already said that the truly powerful Eastern vampires are in those remote tribes, and the vampires living around the city are generally not that strong. If there were only one of you and me, it might be difficult, but if you and I join forces, even the seventh level may not be able to keep us. Quote. Kasha nodded in agreement after hearing this. There is indeed nothing wrong with what you said, but there is nothing wrong with being careful. Today, Kasha and Kevin were wrapped up tightly, with caps on their heads. The masks and sunglasses on their faces covered most of their skin. No matter if you look closer or from a distance, you can't see their faces clearly at all, you can only see their bodies. Today's surveillance is pervasive. In order to prevent unnecessary trouble, it is necessary to make some cover-ups. Kevin walked in front followed closely by Kasha, and the two of them arrived at the entrance of Shilin Villa. Hello, do you have the owner's phone number? If so, please give the owner a call. After agreeing, you can go in. You cannot enter without the permission of the owner. Quote. Looking at the gloomy two people, the security guard realized that the visitor was evil, so he took a step forward and blocked the entrance. The security guard was very tall. He graduated from the sports academy. With his height of 1.9 meters, Kasha and Kevin looked much thinner in front of him. Several security guards not far away also came over after seeing the situation here. Together they stood in front of Kevin and Kasha, like a high wall. 
the behavior of the security guard seems to be saying, just retreat when you face difficulties, you can't get through here at all. Kevin's heart was filled with disdain. There is an idiom that says, yes, it's like a mantis using its arms as a chariot. These few humans in front of us are just a few large mantises, how can we stop them? Kevin slowly took off his glasses, a flash of scarlet dancing in his pupils. A strange fluctuation began to spread, and the security guards began to feel weak and their vision blurred. In an instant, several security guards fell to the ground, their pupils dilated, and they were already in a deep coma. The fluctuations caused by Kevin's mental shock were far more powerful than Lin Xiching's. And it seems that Kevin hasn't exerted enough force yet, maybe not even one-tenth of his strength. The gap between the third level and the sixth level is huge. If they meet each other, the former will only be crushed. In the vampire world, unlike human beings cultivating immortals, there are not many such things as gongfa, martial arts, and methods. There are only some spells that activate blood-red energy. Most of the time, spells have little impact on the battle situation, unless they are extremely powerful spells, but in the realm of the last vampire clan, it is impossible to activate any overly powerful spells. This is why Kevin is so confident. In the face of the absolute realm, any struggle is in vain. Did you smell a, um, that smell unique to the vampires? It seems to be in the southwest. Kevin sniffed a few times and said to Kasha on the side. As his level of strength increased, Kevin's sense of smell also made great progress. Being sensitive to the smell of blood, he quickly found a clue floating in the air. It seems true. It seems that as long as you keep walking in this direction, you will definitely be able to find the lair of those eastern vampires. After speaking, Kasha looked a little excited. This is not the first time they have hunted down eastern vampires. In the past two years, they have hunted and killed more than 20 eastern vampires in the surrounding coastal cities. When they first came to the Kingdom of China, their realm was only at the fifth level, but after these two years of struggle, their realm has been greatly improved. Although a two-level improvement may not sound too big, in an era where the vampire clan is declining and bloodlines are withering, it is already a great improvement. If they relied solely on their daily practice, even breaking through to the sixth level would be a problem. Devouring the essence and blood of the same kind is indeed a shortcut, but since it is a shortcut, it naturally comes with risks. If they happen to hit the iron plate, they are likely to be counterattacked. This is also thanks to the help of the Lord. In the past two years, the Lord has provided the two with a lot of information, which guided them and helped them avoid many dangers. As for who the Lord is, they can't tell, but they know that it must be an extremely powerful existence. Following the blood flowing in the wind, Kevin and Kasha gradually approached Lin Xiching's gothic style villa. Kasha's brows suddenly frowned. Based on the blood energy fluctuations, it seems that there is only one weak eastern vampire, whose strength should not exceed the fourth level, right? Why is there only one vampire this time, and it is still such a weak vampire? Kasha said with some disappointment. Such a weak vampire, with very low quality of essence and blood, would not be of much help to the two of them in breaking through. If you want to help them make a breakthrough, they must at least have around level 5 strength. Kevin was also a little dumbfounded. Reluctantly, he checked it several times with his senses, but still found no other presence. It seems that there is really only one weak eastern vampire. I wasted nearly half a month and thought I caught a big fish, but it turned out to be like this. Kevin said in a low voice. Kasha thought for a moment and said, Maybe it's because of the people from the seven major families recently, many of them have come to the east and attacked many eastern vampire tribes. Although they suffered certain losses, their gains were huge. I heard that there were several 12th generation vampires who relied on swallowing blood essence to break through to the ninth level. In such a turbulent situation, those eastern families should have summoned their clansmen back, so we missed the mark this time. Quote, Kevin's eyes changed when he heard this, and he nodded, it is indeed possible. Then we want to go. Kasha asked, why not, no matter how weak it is, it is still a good medicine that can help us improve. We have no reason to let it go. As the saying goes, no matter how small a fly is, it is still flesh. You really learned a lot of strange words in the east. Kasha complained and immediately walked in front. The two of them were much more relaxed now. 
They really couldn't get nervous when facing a vampire that was so weak that it was less than the fourth level. The purple-black wall hidden by the woods was not far away. The two of them walked quickly, their eyes showing their desire for blood. Comma, comma. When Lin Shiqing saw the two uninvited guests in black through the surveillance camera, it was already a little late. Those guys from the West actually came here. Lin Shiqing was a little panicked, and she tried her best to calm down. There are many surveillance cameras within a kilometer or so of the villa. According to real-time monitoring, they had walked 800 meters away from the villa. Fortunately, they didn't come at full speed, they just walked slowly. They would arrive at the door in about three or four minutes. The most critical thing at the moment is to hide in the underground secret room as soon as possible and activate the defense system. Lin Shiqing took a few deep breaths and forced herself to calm down. This villa was built more than 10 years ago. At the beginning of its construction, a defense system was designed to prevent enemy invasion. Originally, she hoped that the defense system would never be used, but she did not expect that this day would come so quickly. It's useless to ask anyone for help. Time is too tight, so I can only rely on myself. Gritting her teeth, she put Xiaofen on her shoulders and quickly went downstairs. Su Jai, come with me quickly. Pulling up Su Jai who looked confused, the two of them started walking towards the underground secret room. What's going on? Su Jai saw Lin Shiqing so panicked for the first time. There was nothing unusual around him, and he was a little confused about the situation. Those western vampires I mentioned before are coming soon. We must hide in a safe place quickly. The entrance to the underground chamber is behind the stairs. There is a bookshelf behind the stairs, filled with books. On the second floor of the bookshelf, behind a book called, The Secret History of Blood Clan, there is a turntable. As long as you twist the correct number of turns in sequence, you can open the entrance. Lin Shiqing was lucky. The two western vampires seemed to underestimate their enemies, so they gave her a chance to breathe. If they came directly and quickly, there would be no room for resistance. She had already felt that the two groups of rich and restrained blood became more terrifying as they got closer. Based on comparison, even Uncle Yi is definitely no match. This means that their strength is at least level 6, or even stronger. In a head-to-head -head confrontation, Lin Shiqing would have no chance and would definitely lose. Somewhat hurriedly turning the turntable, I secretly chanted in my mind, clockwise 1, clockwise 3, counterclockwise 5, clockwise 2, counterclockwise 7 feet. Under a highly stressful situation, Lin Shiqing turned a total of 18 times, and the door of the safe house opened with a sound. This kind of mechanical structure lock is indeed not very convenient, it takes more time to open, and its speed is much worse than the electronic structure. But what you need to know is that these cumbersome clockwise and counterclockwise rotation processes not only provide higher safety, but also avoid the failure problems that often occur in electronic structures. This is why nuclear bomb launch systems are generally mechanical structures. If they are electronic structures, once they are launched out of control, the consequences will be disastrous. It took half a minute to unlock the entrance. The next moment, Lin Shiqing pulled Su Jai and the two quickly entered. After the two entered, the entrance door quickly closed without leaving any trace. The next moment Lin Shiqing and Su Jai entered, Kevin, who was 500 meters away, suddenly frowned. No, the blood energy fluctuation of that eastern vampire suddenly dropped a lot. She must have hid in a relatively sealed space. Kasha was stunned when she heard this, and then felt it. Sure enough, the originally very obvious fluctuations dropped sharply and were about to disappear. Kevin's whole body suddenly burned with a faint crimson, his speed increased sharply, his body flew across the ground, and he quickly ran towards the villa. Kaisa's situation is similar to his, her whole body is also shrouded in crimson, but her fluctuations are weaker than Kevin's, and her speed is also slower. Under the moonlight, they were charming and ferocious, dyeing the dark forest red. There was an old atmosphere in the underground secret room. Su Jai was surrounded by a cabinet on his right hand. In the center of the room, there is a coffin and a bed. On the left is a chair and table. There was a dusty lever on the table. Lin Shiqing stepped forward and pulled it directly. Click, click, the sound of continuous gear rotation sounded, and Su Jie felt as if he was in the heart of a giant steel beast, surrounded by precise mechanical structures that made sounds as they moved. 
At the entrance of the villa, mithril ground thorns are ready to attack. As long as the enemy steps on the nearby pressure plate, they will eject and take away the enemy's life. From every corner of the room, well-installed mithril arrows and crossbows were quietly poked out. In addition to these cold weapons, there are also some modern thermal weapons, laser rays have been turned on, and hairspring grids. Cold weapons made of mithril can maximize damage. After a sharp blade made of mithril scratches a vampire, the wound cannot be healed within a short period of time, and the surrounding skin will gradually fester. Thermal weapons are a complement to cold weapons. After all, they are still carbon-based organisms, and the damage caused by thermal weapons is also considerable. But the premise is that these organs can hit. The mechanisms in the villa are hidden in the darkness, waiting for opportunities to deliver a fatal blow to the enemy. This is the defense system of the villa, but the enemies this time are a bit too strong. I'm afraid it's impossible to stop them. Lin Xiching's face was a little gloomy. You mentioned to me the realm of the vampires last time. Are those enemies stronger than you? Level 4, Su Jie guessed. Lin Xiching shook her head. It would be better if they were at the fourth level. They are at least the sixth level and are more powerful than Uncle Yi. Su Jie couldn't help but become solemn after hearing this. The situation seemed to be much worse than he thought. Comma, comma, be careful, even though he is just a weak eastern vampire, you can't be careless. Remember that time in Guangcheng. There was actually an arrow and crossbow mechanism made by Mithril, which almost caused me serious injury. Quote, Kasha and Kevin were already standing at the door of the villa, and they were much more serious because of their previous lessons. Kevin narrowed his eyes slightly, then stretched out his right hand, and a ball of blood-red energy gradually condensed in the palm of his hand. Let's just explode. In the East, this is called, One Force Defeats All Laws. In the face of absolute power, any trick is just a cloud. You are becoming more and more oriental in your speech. I really doubt whether you can speak Italian," Kasha said speechlessly. To be honest, many languages and cultures in the East are indeed very interesting. Sometimes, I feel that my previous view of the East was too narrow. The blood-red energy ball in Kevin's hand was about the size of a football. He flicked his arm and the energy ball exploded at the gate. Boom, the door was blown open, and broken steel fragments were scattered everywhere. Crimson flame-like energy dissipated in midair, gradually disappearing like a bright firework. Look at the exposed mithril thorns on the ground. This mechanism should not be underestimated. After the bombing just now, the ground thorns that originally served as defense mechanisms turned out and were very messy. It's okay to fool some inexperienced people with this trick, but to me, it's already a child's trick. Kevin said disdainfully, and then walked into the villa. His steps were bold and steady, and he carefully observed his surroundings. Even the slightest disturbance could not escape his perception. Kaisa followed closely behind, and with the cooperation of the two, the so-called defense system did not play much role in the end. Whether it was the ferocious mithril crossbow or the laser thermal weapon, they were all destroyed by Kevin's energy ball. Explosions continued, and the entire villa became desolate. The fluctuation of the eastern vampire is underground and should be nearby. Kevin called out to Kasha. I feel it too. Kasha nodded. There was a lot of noise between the two, but Kevin had already made enough preparations. The residents of the surrounding villas have all been hypnotized by him, and there is no conscious human being within an 8-kilometer radius. He will not let the situation expand and attract the attention of the authorities or even more people. Imagine that a nearby resident noticed something unusual and called the police. Then the police came here. Things would become very complicated by then. They can kill those policemen, but that will definitely cause a lot of trouble. You know, they still have to live in a human city. Once they are targeted by the police, it will be difficult to live an easy life. Of course, Lin Xicheng couldn't be stupid and call the police for help. Using human legal security systems to restrain vampires is a joke in itself. On the one hand, even if ordinary policemen hold guns, they are no match for Kevin and Kasha. In the face of the powerful sixth-level vampires, only by dispatching a large number of troops or the top combat power among humans, extraordinary beings, can they be subdued. Kevin began to bombard the floor of the villa, and the raging blood-red energy balls were about to turn the place into ruins. Collapsed floors 
scattered wood chips, and reinforced concrete exploded piece by piece. The soil has begun to turn, and it won't be long before they discover the underground chamber. Feeling the turmoil, Lin Shiqing's face became more and more solemn. Although the underground secret room is very strong and tightly wrapped with hard steel, under such an offensive, it is only a matter of time before it breaks. Lin Shiqing, I have a way that may help us overcome this difficulty. Su Jie stood up, his eyes shining with a ray of light in the dark secret room. What solution? Lin Shiqing was stunned. She has reached the end of her rope and has even planned to write her last words. She didn't know what Su Jie, as a human being, could do, and she had no hope. I have a skill, which is a special ability to pause time, but I don't know if this skill will work on those Western vampires. Rather than sit here and wait for death, why not go out and try to break the situation? Quote. Su Jie then showed Lin Shiqing the, time stop, skill, which is currently his most powerful skill. In order to save mental energy, he only turned it on for a moment. The next moment, Lin Shiqing felt as if there was an invisible fishing net wrapping her tightly, so that she could not move her fingers. Kevin and Kasha, who were above the ground, also noticed something unusual. They were also affected by the, time stop, skill just now. Did you have a feeling that we were, stuck, just now? Kevin asked doubtfully, at that moment, I felt like I couldn't move my whole body. Really, I had the same feeling just now. I thought it was my illusion. Kasha nodded in agreement. Forget it, it shouldn't be a big deal. I have a hunch that we will find that eastern vampire soon. Kevin didn't take what happened just to heart and continued to throw the blood red energy ball in his hand. The huge impact caused by the explosion caused the soil underground to fly, forming a large pit. Kasha and Kevin get busy together. After the two men continued bombing, they finally saw a flash of silver, which was the outer wall of the underground secret room. Kevin's face lit up with joy, it's right here. Seeing the outer wall of the underground secret room showed that success was not far away from them. As long as the outer wall is broken open, the eastern vampire can be seen. Kevin and Kasha felt that it was somewhat worthless to go to such great lengths of war just for that little bit of blood. But we have reached this point, and if we choose to give up now, all our previous efforts will be in vain. Let's continue. Kevin took out a small glass bottle from his pocket and poured the liquid into his mouth. After drinking the dark red liquid in one gulp, a warm current spread throughout his body. The blood red energy in his body began to recover and filled up little by little. A new round of bombing began immediately. Click. Is it the sound of twisting the door lock? Kevin and Kasha turned around and saw two figures appearing at the entrance of the secret room. They stood 30 meters away, a man and a woman, with serious expressions. Kevin gave a weird smile. Won't you continue to shrink in there? That's fine, it saves me the effort to break this iron knot. That girl should be from the Oriental Vampire Clan. The fluctuations of blood energy flowing through her body explained everything. As for the boys, they should be just ordinary humans, no threat. Kevin licked his lips and wanted to step forward. Push the female vampire to the ground, tear her clothes to pieces, break open her chest, and take out her crystal heart. It is rare to see such a young and beautiful vampire, which arouses Kevin's perverted desire even more. Su Jie took a deep breath, looked at Lin Shiqing and nodded. Time to stop. His voice sounded softly, like the whisper of an ancient god. Next moment, dust floating in the air, scattered soil, rolling rubble, lumps of concrete. These objects that were supposed to be moving suddenly stopped in the air and on the ground. It was like pressing the pause button suddenly, and the screen stopped at this frame forever. In such a still picture, a thin and fast-moving figure suddenly appeared. That was Lin Shiqing. She held a pure white dagger in her hand, which shone with a faint silver light under the moonlight. Bah! The dagger stabbed Kevin's heart in an instant, then pulled it out and stabbed him again. Dot and blood began to spurt out. A small figure appeared together with Lin Shiqing. It was Xiao Fen. Its eight legs turned into sharp blades at this time, cutting numerous wounds on Kevin's neck. The wounds were crisscrossed, and finally formed a huge hole, covered in blood and flesh. One vampire and one spider had a clear division of labor and a tacit understanding. After ensuring that Kevin had no chance of survival, they came to Keisha's side. As Lin Shiqing flipped the silver light in her hand, 
she repeated the previous actions, and Xiao Fen also waved the sharp blade with ease. Call, rubble fell, dust scattered, the play button was pressed, everything started running again, and countless sounds echoed in the ears. No, I can't. Su Jie's head was covered with beads of sweat the size of peas, which gathered into rivers and flowed down his skin. Just now he used the time stop skill. This skill can be targeted at a certain individual. He is responsible for targeting the two western vampires, while Lin Shiqing and Xiao Fen step forward to kill them. In the process of using his skills, Su Jie found it very difficult to control Keisha and Kevin, perhaps because they were too strong. But he persisted. After maintaining it for eight seconds, his mental energy was completely drained, and there were waves of severe pain in his head. In fact, when he lasted four seconds, he was already exhausted, but he saw that Lin Shiqing and Xiao Fen still hadn't completely finished those two people, so he gritted his teeth and held on for another four seconds. The final result is good, and that's enough. The whole world was shaking, and Su Jie's vision became blurred. The next step is up to you. Su Jie said softly. Fainting caused by mental exhaustion shouldn't be fatal, right? Su Jie fell to the ground, surrounded by soft soil, which supported him softly. Lin Shiqing held the mithril dagger and quickly retreated. Xiao Fen was beside her, following suit. Looking at Kevin and Kasha, she gasped for air. In the ten seconds she paused just now, she had used all her strength to stab the hearts of the two western vampires as much as possible. Xiao Fen also worked hard to cause harm to the two. For vampires, heart injuries are the most serious. Coupled with the corrosion of mithril and poison on the dagger, Kevin and Keisha will definitely die. After time resumed its flow, Kevin and Kasha fell to the ground, dark red blood gushing out from their chests, and blood dripping from their necks. If you look closely, you can see that the skin around their hearts has begun to rot and turn black, which is the erosion of mithril and poison. The two western vampires had lost their ability to resist. Lin Shiqing felt happy and immediately turned around to look for Su Jie, wanting to tell him the good news. But why did Su Jie fall to the ground, and why was his face so pale? Lin Shiqing's body trembled, and crimson blood mist immediately rose up around her body, passing dozens of meters away, and came to Su Jie's side. Su Jie, are you okay? Lin Shiqing said nervously. She frantically checked Su Jie's nose and found that he was still breathing. This made her feel relieved, but she was still a little uneasy. Shaking Su Jie's body, he held his face. Su Jie, how are you feeling? Are you injured anywhere? Although her blood red energy has a therapeutic effect, it is only limited to external injuries. If it is an internal injury, it is difficult to heal. Su Jie heard Ruoyor Awu's call coming from his ears and forcefully opened his eyelids. I just lost my mental energy. Are those two Western vampires dead? You'd better go for a few more cuts to prevent corpse fraud. Su Jie's voice was breathless and weak. Upon hearing this, Lin Shiqing quickly looked at Kevin and Kasha. They didn't move at all and were obviously dead. That mithril dagger is smeared with deadly poison, not to mention that the dagger itself is made of mithril, which has a strong corrosive effect on the vampires. Those two western vampires are dead as hell, we are safe. Quote, Su Jie nodded strenuously and then closed his eyes. Lin Shiqing stood up, surrounded by a fire. The originally spacious villa has been turned into ruins, and everything no longer exists. Xiao Fen quietly climbed onto Lin Shiqing's shoulder. Under the fiery red night, Lin Shiqing walked toward the two western vampires. It's a pity that their blood essence has become extremely poisonous after being eroded by mithril and infiltrated by poison. Now, if you drink it, you are seeking death. Lin Shiqing had to dispose of the body. If these two corpses were discovered by humans, it would cause a lot of trouble. Two beams of blood-red energy were waved out from the fingertips, one running towards Kevin and the other towards Kasha. As soon as the blood-red energy came into contact with their bodies, it began to burn into dark red, even purple illusory flames. After a while, there were only two pools of black ashes left on the spot. After solving the problem of the corpse, Lin Shiqing returned to Su Jie and picked him up from the ground. Looking at his pale face, Lin Shiqing felt heartbroken. You must not let anything happen to you. Chapter 31 Smoke filled the air and flames shot into the sky. The location of the villa is too remote, and no one has noticed anything unusual here so far. 
Call the fire alarm. Lin Shiqing frowned slightly. Su Jie was still in a coma in her arms. She planned to find a hospital first to give Su Jie the necessary treatment. But someone has to deal with everything right now. After thinking for a moment, Lin Shiqing took out her mobile phone from her pocket and dialed Zhou Shuiming's number. Uncle Yi told her before that if anything happened, just contact Zhou Shuiming directly. At present, she is the only one who can handle the current matter. As Uncle Yi's assistant, Zhou Shuiming's ability to deal with things must be online. Lin Shiqing felt relieved when she helped deal with the problem. Dot 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 dot. In a high-end apartment in Binhai City Center, Zhou Shuiming was already asleep, wearing a silk suspender belt and purple shorts. In the quiet room, her even breathing sounded one after another. Jingle bell. The ringing of the phone pierced the darkness. Zhou Shuiming frowned, and then lazily stretched out her slender and tender right hand from the silk quilt and picked up the phone. Being woken up by a phone call in the middle of the night is really annoying. He half squinted his eyes and looked at the screen. After seeing the three words, Lin Shiqing, she immediately woke up. Zhou Shuiming immediately stood up from sitting and gathered her energy after getting up. Mr. Yi respects Lin Shiqing's attitude very much. In addition, Lin Shiqing's surname is Lin, so maybe the entire Lin group belongs to her family. My little assistant must take good care of this young lady. Hello, Miss Lin. Zhou Shuiming answered the phone and said, Assistant Zhou, there is one thing that I may need to trouble you with. Lin Shiqing looked at the still burning ruins of the villa and said, You may not believe it, my house exploded. Quote dot dot dot. What? I didn't understand. Exploded? What does it mean to explode? Was it the one you thought exploded? I'll send you a picture and you'll understand. As she spoke, Lin Shiqing took a close up of her villa. After seeing the photo, everyone in Zhou Shuiming was dumbfounded. For a good house to be like this, it must have suffered some kind of terrorist attack. What I need you to do now is find some people to take care of things here. Do not let the outside world know about this matter. In addition, I need to take someone to the hospital now. You can find a car to pick him up. Remember, it must be fast. Quote, okay, I'll be there right away. Dot 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 dot. Joe Schwemming's work efficiency is very high. It took her three minutes to notify the group's emergency processing department. The emergency processing department is mainly responsible for solving such emergencies. After understanding the general situation of the matter, someone will be sent over there immediately. Then she dressed and went downstairs in one go, arriving at Xilin Villa in 15 minutes. Her car parked on the mountain path outside the villa. After getting off the car, she walked all the way to the villa. The intensity of the fire had subsided, leaving only separate clumps of flames that could not form a large fire. What happened just now did not cause a wildfire, and the fire stopped spreading. The surrounding woods were very quiet, like silent bystanders. As he got closer, Joe Schwemming's face was dimmed and brightened by the firelight. Not far away, she saw Lin Shiqing holding a boy. The boy's face was very pale and a little painful. What's even more strange is that although the boy looks very young, he actually has white hair. Joe Schwemming walked over quickly. Miss Lin. Assistant Joe, you're here. Lin Shiqing had a tired look on her face, but also a bit reassuring. People from the company will be here soon. They will seal off the scene and handle it. The news will not be leaked, so you can rest assured. Lin Shiqing nodded slightly, then looked at Su Jie in her arms. That's good, you drove here, right? Take me to the nearest hospital. As you can see, there is something going on with his body that needs medical attention. Quote, Lin Shiqing didn't think about walking to the hospital with Su Jie in her arms or taking a taxi. But outfits like hers inevitably attract trouble and unwanted attention. A girl carries her sick boyfriend to the hospital at midnight. Some exaggerated self-media will definitely not let go of such news. In the past 18 minutes, Su Jie's hair turned white little by little. Lin Shiqing wanted to stop her hair from turning gray, but she couldn't think of any way and could only watch. Su Jie's breathing was always steady, which gave her some comfort. As long as the basic vital signs are still there, there shouldn't be any big problems. Zhou Shuiming took Lin Shiqing to the nearest Binhai City Third Hospital and arranged hospitalization smoothly. However, 
After various examinations, the doctor did not find that Su Jie had any disease. The graying of hair may be due to excessive energy consumption. Judging from various physical indicators, he is very healthy and has no problems at all. If he takes a good rest for a few days, he will definitely wake up. Remember, don't make him tired recently. You can go out for a walk more and relax your body and mind. After relaxing for a period of time, his hair will turn black. Quote. The doctor left after giving instructions. Zhou Schwemming stood at the door, sending the doctor away with a smile, but a storm arose in her heart. Is that boy Miss Lin's boyfriend? What happened tonight? Jingle bell. The cell phone rang suddenly, and Zhou Schwemming immediately answered the call. Hello, Assistant Zhou, the scene has been sealed off. I'm ready to start processing the scene. Everything is going well so far. Then I'm sorry to trouble you, Manager Chen. It's okay, this is all my responsibility. The most important thing is to tell your men to keep their mouths shut. If the news gets out, it will not be easy for you and me. Zhou Shuiming lowered her voice and warned. I understand, Chen Guangsheng agreed immediately. As the manager of the Emergency Response Department of Lam Group, Chen Guangsheng has handled thousands of various incidents. In business wars, there will always be some special situations. At this time, he will appear to finish and deal with them. But to be honest, tonight's incident really left him confused. There were traces of explosions everywhere on the ground, but no shrapnel could be seen. And such a large-scale explosion did not cause a more serious fire. Only some of the electrical lines were on fire. This does not follow the logic of a dynamite explosion. What new weapon could it be? Chen Guangsheng secretly speculated. This was already an extremely vicious incident, but Assistant Zhou didn't ask the police to call the police, so he naturally wouldn't add any unnecessary fuss. Lin Xiqing in the ward looked at Su Jie, a little dazed. Although the doctor had said it was fine, she was still worried. Unconventional time-stopping skills, magical blood-recovering physique. Su Jie, who are you? Lin Xiqing sat beside the bed, and the cold-toned light shone on Su Jie's face, making her face look even paler. After Zhou Shuiming made the call, she opened the door and walked in. Hearing the sound of the door opening, Xiao Fen immediately stood up, always alert to the intruder. Although this was not the first time he saw this huge spider, Zhou Shuiming still couldn't help but feel heart palpitations. I don't know how Miss Lin tamed such a spider. What a mysterious and strange man. Ms. Lin, someone has already taken care of the situation at your villa, and it will be completed properly. Don't worry. Zhou Shuiming stood beside him and said softly, I understand, there is nothing else. You can go back and rest. If there is anything else, I will contact you again. Lin Xiqing said lightly. Zhou Shuiming nodded. Okay, Miss Lin, if you need anything, please call me. I will come as soon as possible. After speaking, Zhou Shuiming walked out of the room. The ward where Su Jie is located is the top VIP ward of the third hospital, with extremely luxurious decoration. All kinds of medical equipment are very complete, and it is also equipped with bathrooms and specialized nurses. Staying in such a ward for one day costs 10,000 yuan. The more money you have, the better the service will be. Lin Xiqing did not ask the nurse to take care of Su Jie. She decided to stay with him here alone. In any case, what happened tonight was all because of her. But what she didn't know was why those western vampires could find her. But there is no point thinking about that now. The key is to take good care of Su Jie and let him recover as soon as possible. As time passed by, Lin Shiren felt exhausted like a tide. Although she didn't expend too much energy tonight, under the 8 second, time stop, effect, she burned part of her blood essence and was able to barely kill two western vampires. The burning essence and blood are the essence of Lin Shiqing's body. Once consumed, it will take a long time to condense again, which is a long process. Lin Shiqing became more and more tired. She lay on Su Jie's quilt and fell asleep soon. Dot 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 dot. When Su Jie woke up, his first feeling was thirst. Extreme thirst. It's like waking up after a hangover. My mouth is dry and my throat is about to burst. After using the time stop skill and draining his mental energy, his memory had a gap. He only remembered that he finally collapsed in the ruins of the villa. He didn't know anything about what happened next. 
but the fact that he is safe and sound now means that everything has been resolved smoothly. After opening his eyes and looking around, Su Jie realized that he should be in the hospital. The surrounding medical facilities already illustrate this point. Wait, why do I feel like something is pressing on my stomach? Su Jie slowly raised his head, ready to find out. A familiar figure appeared in his sight. Lin Shiqing was obviously not awake yet, her eyes were tightly closed, her eyelashes were curved, and her eyebrows were slightly furrowed. It seems like you are having a nightmare. Su Jie breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that they are indeed safe. Those two western vampires should be killed with one strike just as they planned. Base. Xiao Fen jumped on Su Jie's quilt, showing her good intentions. Su Jie was startled for a moment, then showed a smile and started stroking Xiao Fen's little head with his right hand. He felt more and more that he, Lin Shiqing, and Xiao Fen had become a family. The two supported each other and finally got through the difficulties. They won. Originally, Su Jie thought that Xiao Fen's combat effectiveness would not be too strong. But after he saw Xiao Fen's bravery during the battle last night, he completely changed his mind. The eight spider legs turned into sharp blades, full of lethality. In addition to its amazing combat power, Xiao Fen is also very agile and extremely fast, making it impossible to catch it easily. Being able to kill the two western vampires last night was also a big contribution to Xiao Fen. Su Jie rubbed Xiao Fen's head as before, feeling at peace in his heart. It's great to survive the disaster. As if aware of Su Jie waking up, Lin Shiqing also opened her eyes. You're awake. Lin Shiqing rubbed her eyes and said with some surprise. Well, there's nothing wrong with me, I just lost all my energy. Things like mental strength can be restored quickly as long as you take a good rest. Quote. Su Jie said easily. That skill of yours is indeed powerful. It controlled the two western vampires for eight seconds. Because of this, I was able to kill them smoothly. Su Jie, thank you. Without you, I would have died last night. Quote. Su Jie was stunned for a moment, then shook his head. It's the same for me. If it weren't for you, just having such a skill would be useless. Being able to kill those two western vampires was the result of our joint efforts. It wouldn't have been possible without you or me. I almost forgot about Xiao Fen and it. It was the joint contribution of the three of us. Quote. As he spoke, Su Jie felt that his throat was getting drier. Well, can you pour me some water? I feel like I'm dying of thirst. Lin Shiqing nodded, then stood up and poured Su Jie a glass of water. Su Jie took the water and drank it in one gulp. Lin Shiqing sat beside the bed and spoke slowly. Su Jie, I want to ask you something. What exactly is going on with your skills? Quote. Lin Shiqing looked directly into Su Jie's eyes, hoping to see something from them. But those two eyes were so dark that nothing could be seen, as if they were shrouded in thick fog. Well, after hearing Lin Shiqing's question, Su Jie fell into deep thinking. To say, or not to say. What you say is telling the truth or lying. If he didn't say anything, how would he face Lin Shiqing's constant questioning? Scenes flashed before his eyes. Last night, when two vampires came, Lin Shiqing grabbed his hand and took him to the underground secret room. If Lin Shiqing only cared about herself, he would have become a corpse by now. In such an emergency, she really wanted to protect herself. Thinking of this, Su Jie was a little touched. Lin Shiqing, her emotions are very reserved and she will not let her emotions flow to the surface easily. But when Su Jie woke up from the coma, Lin Shiqing still had a flash of joy in her eyes. Su Jie fell into memories. The first thing that appeared in Su Jie's mind was Lin Shiqing's slender figure curled up in the dark room shrouded in night. When he played the piano, Lin Shiqing's lips curved into a slight smile. When he rubbed the little pink head, Lin Shiqing's expression showed gentleness and warmth. I went back to the rental house with him and was mistaken by Xu Hongmei for being a couple. As the days passed, Lin Shiqing became much more cheerful. Lin Shiqing never said anything, but Su Jie knew that she was actually very lonely. She wanted to have someone by her side through the rest of her life. During this time, they had both laughter and sadness along the way. Lin Shiqing and Su Jie broke into each other's lives unexpectedly, and gradually got to know each other. Everything was constantly being shown in front of Su Jie's eyes. Su Jie put down the water glass and looked at Lin Shiqing. 
His eyes were calmer than ever before. Lin Shiqing took him to the hospital and stayed with him all night, which proved that she could be trusted. Telling the truth doesn't seem impossible. But it is not possible to say everything, just say some necessary contents. This is the smoothest transition. Su Jie doesn't like lying very much. Lies are lies after all, and they will inevitably be exposed. What's more, there are also some strange things about the mission of this system. Only those who can be sucked by Lin Shiqing's blood can complete the mission. Perhaps the mysterious and supreme being who gave Su Jie the system was intentionally bringing him and Lin Shiqing together. In other words, that supreme being might have some profound intention to bring Su Jie and Lin Shiqing closer and eventually form a bond. With so many thoughts on his mind, Su Jie made up his mind and spoke slowly. Do you still remember the scene when we first met? Do you remember the first time we met? Lin Shiqing was stunned for a moment, as the dark cloudy sky appeared in her mind. She ordered a cup of coffee in the coffee shop of Binhai University, but was suddenly attracted by a burst of fragrant and fresh blood. That was her first meeting with Su Jie. At that time, Lin Shiqing happened to be choosing a partner for her first adult ceremony. She had already explored many boys and even girls in the school, but the blood energy on their bodies did not meet the standards. It's still too difficult after all. Higher blood quality requires not only talent, but also self-discipline. But among today's young people, there are few who are not indulgent. And just when Lin Shiqing was disheartened, Su Jie broke into Lin Shiqing's sight unexpectedly, like an accident. Well, I fell in love with you at that time, so I asked you to use WeChat, and later I chatted with you on WeChat. Just three days after we got to know each other, I invited you to come to my house as a guest, and it remains until now. Quote, there are so many memories, they have experienced a lot between them. Perhaps no couple who has been together for a year has experienced as many things and ups and downs as they have in the past few days. It was on the day you invited me to your home that I learned that you were a vampire. Su Jie made a recollection. Lin Shiqing's face froze, it turns out that you already knew. But since you already know, why are you still here? Quote, because I have a mission. Su Jie paused and continued. If you suck my blood once, I will complete my mission. You have always been wondering why I can't absorb all the blood. That's because I have a physique with unlimited blood recovery. This physique can help me quickly restore blood. As long as you don't suck up all my blood at once, the lost blood will be restored in a short period of time. In addition, I can also transform into a vampire, as you have seen before, time and time. Quote. Lin Shiqing looked surprised. Although I don't know exactly how you did it, I think your physique is indeed very powerful. Su Jie smiled slightly. Indeed, people's physiques cannot be generalized. My physique is indeed like a miracle. After talking so much with Lin Shiqing, the main reason is that Su Jie already trusts Lin Shiqing. And Lin Shiqing trusted him enough. However, the mutual trust was not enough for Su Jie to say what he said now. There is a deeper reason. That is, benefit. He and Lin Shiqing are now bound by interests. No matter what, Lin Shiqing has no reason to be disadvantageous to him. Su Jie organized his words and said, you mentioned before that my blood quality improved very quickly. The higher the quality of blood, the better it will be for you to break through the realm and improve the purity of your bloodline. After my analysis, it was the increase in my attributes that led to the improvement in blood quality. This has formed a cycle. In the first step, I am sucked by you, and my attributes are increased and the quality of my blood is improved. In the second step, when you suck my blood, your strength and blood purity are improved. After you sucked my blood in the second step, I got the opportunity to increase my attributes and blood quality. Repeatedly, your and my strength will grow like a snowball. Quote. Lin Shiqing was silent for a moment. She needed some time to digest such shocking news. After telling everything, Su Jie felt much more relaxed. These words are spoken after careful consideration. There is indeed a risk in doing so. After all, Telling another person your secret has two consequences, either trust or betrayal. But if it is not explained clearly, many things cannot be reasonably explained at all. A mysterious human being with a miraculous blood recovering physique and powerful skills, but what is the reason for all this? Being burdened with many mysteries will make Lin Shiqing suspicious of Su Jie. 
Lin Shicheng is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. Even though she always looks cold on the outside, Su Jie knows that her heart is soft and longs for someone to accompany her and give her warmth. In addition, after confessing, it will also help Su Jie complete his subsequent tasks. For example, if there is a bug, try to suck 500 milliliters of blood and then spit it out to see if you will get the task reward. And the blood sucking frequency is higher, for example, allowing Lin Shiqing to speed up digestion and maximize task rewards. The system prompted him to establish a bond with Lin Shiqing. As long as the system exists, he and Lin Shiqing will be inseparable. He will have to show his cards sooner or later, so why not make everything clear now? If there was no system, he would only be sucked a certain amount of blood on the night he dated Lin Shiqing, and nothing else would happen. You just said you can become a vampire, can you show it to me? I'm very curious about how a human can become a vampire at will. This is so contrary to common sense. Quote. After a long silence, Lin Shiqing asked. Su Jie nodded and immediately activated the skill. The next moment, a faint crimson covered Su Jie's body like a gauze. Pupils turn red, fangs grow, and heart stops beating. The time now is 8 o'clock in the morning, the curtains of the ward are tightly closed, and the room is relatively dark. In such a dim environment, the crimson color on Su Jie's body flickered slightly, confusing and strange. If you look closely, you can see that the crimson on his body is exactly the same as the crimson on Lin Shiqing and the two western vampires last night. It really smells like a vampire, Lin Shiqing said in disbelief. My mental strength has not fully recovered, and the previous attempts have used up the blood-red energy in my body, so it is a bit difficult to use this skill suddenly. Su Jie explained. After a day of recovery, the blood-red energy in Su Jie's body had only recovered one-third. With such a slow recovery speed, he will definitely not waste blood energy casually in the future. After witnessing Su Jie becoming a vampire, Lin Shiqing was a little shaken. She was silent for a long time, her thoughts confused. Are you dreaming? I remember the last time I was so shocked was when I was bleeding Su Jie. She released a large basin full of Su Jie's blood, but Su Jie was still safe and sound, and her worldview almost collapsed. Su Jie suddenly remembered that he still had some things he needed to ask Lin Shiqing. After he used the transform into a vampire skill yesterday, he has never learned how to control the blood energy. He wanted to ask Lin Shiqing if there was any skill involved. How can one manipulate the blood energy, condense it, gather it into energy balls at will, or heal wounds, etc.? A qualified vampire must learn how to use blood energy, which is what Su Jie will work on later. Lin Shiqing, I have one thing to ask you. Do you know how to control this blood red energy? Although I can now transform into a vampire, I have never been able to manipulate the blood energy as I wish. Quote. Su Jie suddenly asked. Lin Shiqing looked at Su Jie with complicated eyes, and then replied, the blood energy you mentioned should refer to blood energy. This strange energy is one of the vampire's main means of attack. The most commonly used method is to condense blood energy into energy balls and throw them to cause damage. In addition, blood energy also has a very good effect on healing wounds. For example, after I sucked your blood before, Part of the blood energy will cover your wound, and your wound will heal quickly. As for how to control blood energy, actually, I don't know how to say it. This should be something you need to explore by yourself. I remember when the first trace of blood energy was born in my body, I naturally knew how to control it, like a subconscious action. But after Uncle Yi comes back, you can ask him. He is in a similar situation to you. He has also changed from a human to a vampire. He should have some experience on how to manipulate blood energy. Quote. Su Jie felt a little regretful when he didn't get any tips from Lin Shiqing. But if you think about it carefully, it makes sense. Just like a baby sucking milk, it is an instinct, an instinct imprinted in genes. The blood race has been passed down for thousands of years, and manipulating blood energy has become an instinct for them. As a human being, if you want to control blood energy, it will definitely take a while to get used to it. It seems that there is still a long way to go to completely control blood energy. However, according to Su Jie's speculation, after trying at most two more times, he would be able to initially control the blood energy. As long as you get started, the rest will be easy.
I have a question. If you can switch back and forth between humans and vampires, will you also have thousands of years of life like the vampires? Su Jay was stunned. He really didn't know how to answer this question. I don't know either. Maybe we'll have an answer after a few decades. Su Jay shook his head. Regarding God's gift and the inexplicable system, Su Jay had limited information. But according to his inference, as his strength grows, he should be able to know more information. Boom, boom, boom. There was a knock on the door of the ward suddenly. Is it convenient for ward rounds now? A steady male voice sounded. Lin Shiching recognized that it was the voice of the attending doctor, Chao Guosen. It was him who checked on Su Jie's situation last night. During Su Jie's hospitalization, he was also mainly responsible. Come in, Lin Shiching said as she asked Xiao Fen to hide in the cabinet next to her. If Chao Guosen saw such a big spider, he would definitely be scared to death. Chao Guosen is a middle-aged man with a somewhat bald head. He is in his 30s, graduated from a top medical school, became the attending physician a year ago, and has a bright future. And because of his appearance, he is more likely to be trusted by patients and their families. As soon as he saw his barren head, he knew that his medical skills must be good. It has become a consensus that the more hair you have, the worse your medical skills will be. With Lin Shiching's permission, Chao Guosen opened the door and walked to the bedside. He lowered his head and looked at the values of the multifunctional ECG monitor next to him. There were no abnormalities in the blood pressure, blood oxygen, and heart rate values, and the electrocardiogram showed up and down fluctuations within the normal range. This should be no problem. Chao Guosen nodded secretly, then looked at Su Jie, are you still feeling unwell? Su Jie felt it. After a night's rest, he no longer felt any pain in his body, but his head was still a little groggy. I just feel a little uncomfortable in my head, but everything else is fine. The doctor nodded and wrote, basically no problem, in the record book in his hand. All indicators are normal, and discharge can be considered. Lin Shiching heard this and said, Doctor, I see that his hair is still white and has no tendency to turn black. Is that okay? It should be no problem. I wonder if you have heard of the idiom, white hair overnight. Under certain circumstances of extreme fatigue or depression, a person's hair will turn gray overnight. The patient is still so young, and his body's recovery ability is there. Even if his hair turns gray, he will definitely be able to recover in a short time. Quote, Chao Guosen patiently explained that those who can live in the top VIP ward are not ordinary people, and they must have a better attitude. Of course, if you still feel uncomfortable, you can continue to be hospitalized. It is safer to stay in the hospital for observation for a period of time. Chao Guosen added. Yes, I understand. Lin Shiching nodded. Chao Guosen was very busy at work. When he saw that there was nothing to do, he left. Lin Shiching, can you get in touch with Butler Yi? We can't tell him everything about last night. Su Jie's eyes flickered. Ha, huh, Lin Shiching was stunned, but the next moment, she understood what Su Jie meant. Regarding the mysterious man and other secrets, no one else can know them. Su Jie was willing to tell her this secret because he trusted him. But Butler Yi told him that it would only cause trouble. And for the crime of possessing a jade, the fewer people who know about Su Jie's secret, the better. It's best if only the two of them know. After a second thought, Lin Shiching said, I understand what you mean, I will definitely not tell anyone else what you said to me. I won't tell anyone else about this unless you give me permission. Quote, Su Jie's expression froze and he smiled. My thoughts actually completely coincided with what Lin Shiching said. His choice was correct. The cabinet on the side was suddenly opened, and then there was a rustling sound. It was the little pink that had been hidden in the cabinet just now, and it crawled out of the cabinet. After climbing onto the bed, its calves spread out completely on the quilt, motionless. Su Jie suddenly remembered that Xiao Fen had not eaten since yesterday. When Yi Wei was here before, he was responsible for preparing food for Xiao Fen once a day. Xiao Fen seems hungry. Lin Shiching also noticed the listless little fan. She nodded. That seems to be the case, but its food is all over there in the villa. At this time, the villa is in ruins, and the food may not be found. That's it, but after all, little fans eat something. If you can buy it, just buy some now. 
Lin Shiqing shook her head when she heard this. No, the food Xiao Fen eats are poisonous insects. Those poisonous insects are carefully cultivated by the family and cannot be bought on the market. If there is really no other way, go to the flower and bird market first. There should be some bugs and the like there. Let's make do with it for the time being, and then contact Butler Yi and ask him to get some food from the clan. Lin Shiqing nodded. Okay, I'll find someone to go to the flower and bird market later. Xiao Fen's matter has been put on hold for now, and there is one more thing that needs to be discussed urgently. Let me ask you, have you figured out how to explain what happened last night to Butler Yi? Su Jie asked, staring into Lin Shiqing's brown eyes. Lin Shiqing looked thoughtful, she hadn't thought about it yet. I don't know, mainly because I don't know how to explain how to kill those two western vampires. Nothing can be mentioned about you. Since you have to lie, you must be careful and not reveal any doubts. Quote, In my opinion, why don't you just say that the two western vampires were not strong enough and were killed by you in the end? Is that feasible? I'm afraid not. No matter how weak the western vampires are, they are probably stronger than me. My third level strength is basically at the bottom of the entire vampire world. If those western vampires are weaker than me and choose to come to the east, they are not coming to hunt at all, but to give away their heads. Quote. Su Jay pondered for a moment, and his eyes suddenly lit up. Did you forget the defense system you activated last night? You can explain that it was the defense system that seriously injured the two western vampires, and then you performed a last-ditch attack and nearly killed them. Haven't those two western vampires been turned into ashes by you? There is no proof. As long as your words have a certain logic, they will not arouse doubts. Quote. Lin Shiqing thought about it and didn't think of any loopholes. There was indeed nothing wrong with this argument. If you put it this way, it is indeed feasible. At present, Lin Shiqing and Su Jie are like two fledgling birds. They cannot escape the protection of their family, so they must make some necessary disguises. But as time goes by, the number of blood sucks increases, and after the two of them become stronger, the family becomes dispensable, and there is no need to explain. Only by stabilizing your development and trying your best to become stronger can you control your life. The Western vampires are watching eagerly, and the country is not safe. Su J can be sure that if the two Western vampires were one point stronger last night, his time stop, time will be shorter, and Lin Shiqing will not be able to complete the kill. What will greet them then is death. Su J looked at Lin Shiqing with soft eyes. She understood that in the years to come, he and Lin Shiqing must rely on each other. The two of them boarded a small boat and were sailing toward an unknown future together. Night has fallen, but the city center of Binhai City is still brightly lit. We're Hotel, the only five-star hotel in the city center. On the 24th floor, Su Jie stood by the window, admiring the excellent night view. If it was a week ago, he would definitely not be able to stay in such a top luxury hotel that costs 30,000 yuan a night. This is the temporary destination of Su Jie and Lin Shiqing. After staying in the hospital for a whole morning, Su Jie really couldn't stay any longer. The smell of disinfectant was so strong that it made Su Jie feel uncomfortable. In addition, he was not injured in the first place, but his mental strength needed to be restored. So there is no need to stay in the hospital. At noon, Zhou Shuiming came to the hospital and brought some strange bugs as food for Xiaofen. Lin Shiqing asked Zhou Shuiming to find a place to stay temporarily. But except for the Gothic villa in Xilin Villa, the other properties of Lin Shiqing's family were either poorly decorated or had been covered in dust for a long time. After some discussion, Zhou Shuiming finally contacted them at the hotel, where Su Jie was now. My white hair is a little flowing, making me look like a worldly expert. Su Jie looked at his reflection on the floor-to-ceiling windows and muttered to himself. It wasn't that there was nothing to do tonight, he and Lin Shiqing had some things to do. These things require two people to work together. When it came to asking how many rooms to open at noon, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing unanimously asked Zhou Shuiming to open a room. To this day, Su Jie still remembers the gossip in Zhou Shuiming's eyes when he heard the two of them talking about renting a room. Probably in her heart, she and Lin Shiqing had already become a couple. A good-looking boy became the boyfriend of the daughter of a listed company. It really saved me decades of detours. Lin Shiqing's idea of opening a room was, 
it would be more convenient to protect Su Jae. Otherwise, what would happen if Su Jae was in danger? Su Jae's explanation was very simple. He and Lin Shiqing had to do something. Of course, for a gentleman like him, it was definitely not something indescribable that he did with Lin Shiqing. To put it simply, try to get stuck. The system of you can become stronger by being sucked does not provide a detailed definition of sucking blood once. The specific judgment criteria were not stated. Su Jie had conducted an experiment before when Lin Shiqing didn't know the existence of the system. The result of that experiment was that the minimum blood sucking standard for one blood sucking was 500 milliliters. If the blood sucking amount reaches 500 milliliters, it will not be considered as blood sucking once, and the corresponding reward will not be obtained. This method was blocked, and Su Jie thought of another loophole. That is, after Lin Shiqing sucked 500 milliliters of blood and the task reward was distributed, Lin Shiqing was asked to spit out the blood. Su Jie asked Lin Shiqing about the feasibility of doing this, and the latter told him that as long as a layer of blood energy was established in the stomach to isolate it and prevent Su Jie's blood from coming into contact with her own blood, then when the time came after inhaling, you can spit it out at will without harming yourself. If this is feasible, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing can use this to obtain almost unlimited mission rewards. Although I think that if you do this, the system may not issue task rewards, but if you don't try it, how can you know the final result? The night is long and there is plenty of time. Su Jie was wearing a white bathrobe. He had just finished taking a shower. The sound of water running in the bathroom echoed in the silent room. It was Lin Shiqing taking a bath. According to Lin Shiqing, blood sucking is a sacred thing. As a noble vampire, blood sucking must not be carried out in a dirty environment. Bathing before sucking blood is also a necessary step. Su Jie silently stared at the turbulent traffic on the street. He was thinking that he should try driving. It's best to drive a sports car, it should be very popular. Thinking of this, a scene suddenly appeared in his mind. That was a video I saw on a school forum. It was the post that exposed his ex-girlfriend Shu Ru stepping on several boats. At the entrance of the bustling nightclub, Shu Ru was wearing cool clothes. She got out of a Ferrari F8, her face full of flattery. A rich second-generation man with a big body and a round waist hugged her, like Beauty and the Beast. Feeling sick in his heart, Su Jie's eyes turned cold. Thinking back to his ex-girlfriend, he really felt like eating a fly. But it is undeniable that she really understands men and what they want. During the few months of dating her, Su Jie, as a novice in love, was manipulated by her in every possible way and was no match for her. Just looking at her appearance, most people would be amazed by her beauty, but what they don't know is that beneath her shiny skin is a dirty soul full of the stench of copper. If she only went to the financial sponsor, Su Jie wouldn't say anything. If one is willing to fight and the other is willing to suffer, there is no problem. But it was her fault that she deceived her feelings and still acted like Neptune. Don't be so naive when it comes to relationships in the future. Su Jie whispered to himself and breathed a sigh of relief. Just as he was remembering, the sound of running water in the bathroom behind him suddenly stopped, and then there was the sound of the door opening. Click, the sound of soft footsteps sounded, and Su Jie turned around slowly. In the corner, the well-fed little fan had already fallen into a deep sleep. Su Jie felt lucky that he finally didn't have to worry about this oversized spider ruining the atmosphere tonight and affecting the conduct of the experiment. Lin Shiqing's body was wet. Her clothes were all over there in the villa, because the villa had collapsed and her clothes were basically all damaged. Some of them may still be salvageable. According to Zhou Shuemeng, after cleaning up the villa, many previous items have been saved. Regarding the matter of the villa being turned into ruins, the news was kept very secret. A cordon had been set up around the place so that no one would break in and find out. L. In a few days, the villa will be cleaned and the related restoration work will begin. The Lin Group itself is involved in real estate and has many construction teams. Restoring the villa to its original condition is not a big problem. But whether to go back to live has not yet been decided. After all, it has been attacked once by the Western vampires, and there is no guarantee that there will not be a second time. The collapse of the villa was not leaked, but another piece of news spread like wildfire. After Western vampire Kevin entered Shilin Villa last night, 
he used blood energy to hypnotize all nearby residents. The next day, when the surrounding residents woke up and exchanged news with each other, they discovered that they all fell asleep suddenly and without warning, and they fell asleep at the same time. This was so unusual that it was difficult to understand. One of the residents posted a post online, and a reporter happened to see it. He quickly came to Shilin Villa, conducted a serious interview, and published the news. Surprisingly, this matter quickly became a hot topic. At the same time, experts from all walks of life also began to analyze what caused this incident. Most experts believe it is caused by a special type of radio wave. It's just that this explanation is too far-fetched and too official, and few people believe it. Netizens are talking a lot about this matter and have different opinions. Some say it was done by aliens, while others say it was done by, a piao, or ghosts. There was a lot of chatter on the internet, and there were all sorts of things, except that there was no suspicion that he was a vampire. The comments made by those netizens were very funny, which made Su Jay very happy, and became his source of happiness today. They certainly couldn't have imagined that all this was due to vampires. You didn't expect that there are vampires in the world, right? As someone who knows everything, Su Jay feels inexplicably refreshed. The sound of footsteps brought him back from his thoughts, and he looked in front of him. Lin Shiqing walked over while wiping her hair. What are you looking at? Lin Shiqing noticed Su Jay's gaze and felt strange. Faced with such a gaze, she couldn't say that she was repulsed, but she just felt somewhat uncomfortable. Ah, it's nothing. Su Jay shook his head. The white bathrobe covered her beautiful body somewhat tightly, which made him somewhat regretful. Lin Shiqing smoothed her hair and draped her long hair over her shoulders. In the dim room, only the outline of her face and her watery, slightly bright eyes could be seen clearly. Have you not contacted Butler Yi yet? Su Jay asked. Yeah, I was thinking, maybe something happened to the tribe, right? I really can't say. Lin Shiqing sighed, I'm still too weak now and can't change anything. The struggle between the Eastern and Western vampires has been going on for a long time. According to legend, there were more than 300 Easterners among the fourth generation of vampires in ancient times. These more than 300 Orientals probably traveled all the way to Europe via Asia, and then in a mysterious environment, they had some contact with the third generation of vampires and were first embraced by them, thus becoming vampires. In the early days of the emergence of the vampire clan, the number of people was sparse, and the method of expanding the clan could not be limited to natural reproduction. The advantage of natural reproduction is to reduce the loss of blood purity, but there are only 13 third-generation vampires. The number of male and female vampires is uneven, and two pairs of them cannot produce many offspring. In addition, the blood race takes an extremely long time to conceive offspring, often for decades. It seems that all powerful races in the world need a long time to continue their offspring. For example, the dragon race, the time cost is too high. Against this background, the third generation of vampires began to try to use the method of first embrace to create new clansmen. Although the purity of the bloodline of the new vampires declined, there was a qualitative leap in efficiency. According to some records, the third generation of vampires initially had more than 2,000 humans. The fourth generation of vampires was born, and these 2,000 new vampires became a powerful force, establishing an empire and leading mankind in that long-ago era. After more than 300 Orientals became the fourth-generation vampires, they combined with other fourth-generation vampires to give birth to the fifth-generation vampires. As time goes by, the Blood Clan's activities are no longer limited to the West, and their footprints span the entire Blue Star. According to some strange rumors, Columbus was a vampire. And to this day, he is still alive. Sometimes, the real world may be very different from what we think it is. In the eyes of the Western vampires, they are the orthodox and supreme, and the Eastern vampires should not exist. Such battles have been going on for thousands of years. What Lin Shiqing wants to do is to protect her family and her people. Why should the Eastern vampires be slaughtered by the Western vampires? Maybe Butler Yi is busy, so don't worry. If you wait a little longer, maybe he will take the initiative to contact you. Su Jay comforted. Lin Shiqing nodded. In fact, she also knew that there was no point in worrying. Are you ready? Well, just lie on the bed and I'll start. Su Jay is ready to start the experiment. 
The goal of this experiment. If you suck blood but spit it out, can you get the task reward? Lying on the soft big bed is very comfortable. Su Jay looked up at Lin Shiqing not far away. The moonlight and neon converge, and the girl's figure becomes dreamy. As she slowly approached, a fragrant aroma rushed into Su Jay's nose. After the previous unfamiliarity, this time, Lin Shiqing's technique was much more skillful and not sloppy at all. Bah, Su Jay frowned slightly, the pain was bearable. Lin Shiqing's throat rolled as blood was sucked out in strands. Waves of heat dissipated in her body. She quickly drank 500 milliliters, and Lin Shiqing got up immediately. 500 milliliters is a rough amount. Without a measuring tool, she certainly couldn't be very precise. But what is certain is that the error will not be very large, not greater than 50 milliliters. Have you finished smoking? Su Jie looked at Lin Shiqing faintly. Well, the blood is now in my stomach, separated by a layer of blood energy. I won't absorb it and can spit it out at any time. Just when Su Jie was about to wonder if there was a delay in the system, he heard a familiar mechanical and electronic sound coming from his ears. Ding, it is detected that the host has completed the task, and the task reward will be distributed first, all attributes plus one, number of draws plus one. A surge of power surged in, and his physical fitness improved to a certain extent. The next moment, Su Jie looked at his UI interface. Host, Su Jie, Strength, 41, Spirit, 43, Speed, 42, Defense, 39, Skills, Time Stop, Elementary, Transformation into a Vampire. The total attributes have actually been increased a bit, and there is one more chance to draw a lottery. It seems that this is really possible. Su Jie felt hot in his heart. In this case, you can earn mission rewards unlimited times. Wait, don't be too happy too early. He suddenly realized something. He and Lin Shiqing's experiment was still at the last step. Well, spit out the blood. Su Jie looked at Lin Shiqing and said. Lin Shiqing nodded when she heard this, then turned and went to the bathroom. She spit out all the blood she had just sucked. The blood energy effectively isolated the inner wall of the stomach from Su Jie's blood, so Lin Shiqing didn't have to worry about spitting out her own blood. The moment Lin Shiqing spit out blood, Su Jie suddenly heard a voice in his ear. Ding, it has been detected that the host task has failed to complete, and the rewards previously issued are now withdrawn. The next moment, Su Jie clearly felt that a force disappeared inexplicably. The original number of draws was also missing. It seems that the bug won't work. Su Jie smiled bitterly. The system is like an omniscient and omnipotent being, and it is impossible to deceive it. Lin Shiqing cleaned up everything and returned to the bedroom. She looked at Su Jie curiously, did it succeed? Su Jie shook his head helplessly, no, I understand. Only when you start to absorb and cannot spit out the blood can I get the mission reward. Otherwise, even if I get the mission reward, those rewards will be withdrawn. Quote. Lin Shiqing felt a little pity when she heard this, but then she felt relieved. It's okay. Forget it if you fail. It's impossible to reach the top in one step. We have plenty of time. We can stay for a few years, no, just one year. I can smoke at least 100 times in a year. Blood, or even more, when the time comes, your 100 lottery chances will definitely bring surprises. Lin Shiqing's words quickly made Su Jie get out of the mood of failed experiment. Also, I want to tell you something. Lin Shiqing said mysteriously. Su Jie looked at Lin Shiqing and felt that she was a little naughty. What's the matter? Of course I'm hungry. As Lin Shiqing spoke, she bared her teeth and claws, like a big bad wolf. She spent a lot of energy last night, and now is a good time to drink blood to replenish her energy. The vampires are going to suck your blood, human, tremble. Seeing Lin Shiqing pretending to be ferocious, Su Jie laughed out loud. At the same time, he also felt a little excited. Is this a role play? Wait a minute, I think I have a new idea. Su Jie interrupted Lin Shiqing, with a mysterious look on his face. If you suck blood and then spit it out, the reward will be withdrawn. Then, if you swipe the number of lottery draws, you should draw the lottery first before vomiting blood. If the reward is good, keep it. If it is not good, you will vomit blood and start again. Does this allow you to get 100% of the best rewards? Thinking of this, Su Jie's eyes lit up. 
After telling Lin Xiqing about this method, Lin Xiqing was also very excited. The two then began a new round of experiments. Dot dot dot. Twenty minutes later, Su Jie drew two secondary prizes but didn't get anything good, so he asked Lin Xiqing to spit out all the blood. This is very tiring for Lin Xiqing. But she was still very cooperative. After all, if Su Jie could become stronger, she would also benefit a lot. Just when Su Jie was about to do it for the third time, the system prompt sounded in my ears. Ding. It has been detected that the host has failed too many times. Please note that if the host fails the task more than twice in the future, 50% of the host's all attribute points will be deducted. Please host to avoid failure to avoid lowering attribute points. Okay, this method won't work either. It seems that this bug is really not that easy to fix. Pretty boy Su J was speechless. Dot dot dot. Afterwards, Lin Xiqing started sucking blood normally. If you can't fix the bug, just complete the task. Su J thought carefully that he would need to be sucked blood countless times in his future life. Although the pain was always uncomfortable, he still had to try to accept it. It's like those days when girls come every month and can't eat ice cream, which is very uncomfortable. Rather than resisting something that must be experienced, it is better to choose to accept it and even enjoy it. After overcoming the psychological barrier to pain, Su J could even selectively ignore the stinging pain of radioactivity on his neck. The blood on his neck was sucked bit by bit by Lin Xiqing, but elegant piano music was playing in Su J's mind. The notes flowed elusively one by one, and he felt comfortable smelling the fragrance of Lin Xiqing. When the focus is not on the pain, all the pain will become shallow. Six minutes later, Lin Xiqing was done, ending the short-lasting blood sucking. Just like what happened nearly ten times before, she wiped the blood from the corner of her mouth, then slowly turned over and lay next to Su Jie. There is a crystal ceiling lamp on the ceiling, surrounded by carefully carved patterns. Well, it is very beautiful. Su Jie thought to himself. The two of them were silent, Lin Xiqing slowly digested the blood she had just sucked, and showed a satisfied smile. Clearing his mind, Su Jie began to think about something. The reward for completing the blood sucking just now has been distributed. His lost attribute points have been recovered, as well as a chance to draw a lottery. There are still about 10 points left before his average attribute value reaches 50 points, and he will have the opportunity to open the second level prize pool. Lin Xiqing told him that her digestion capacity is about 500 milliliters 2 to 3 days. Sometimes after engaging in some physically demanding activities, she would suck in more blood to make up for the lack of physical strength. However, it takes time to convert the sucked blood into physical strength and energy. This is why Lin Xiqing fell into a deep sleep after sucking a large amount of Su Jie's blood. Based on this calculation, Lin Xiqing could suck blood once every two days at the earliest. This also means that Su Jie can obtain 15 all attribute points and 15 lottery opportunities in a month. After several previous lottery experiences, Su Jie found that the lottery is very efficient in obtaining attribute points, often 5 or 10 points, but sometimes he is unlucky and only gets 1 point. The probability of having extremely bad luck is as high as having excellent luck. Su Jie is not worried that he will not get the worst reward every time. He decided to take a middle value. Assuming that one lottery could obtain 5 or more attribute points, then 15 lottery opportunities a month would bring about a 75-point increase in all attributes. This assumption is based on the fact that there is no European emperor. If he gets a critical hit and gets 10 or 20 attribute points at once, his strength will also take a leap. In addition, he will be able to open the second level prize pool immediately. The prizes in the second level prize pool will definitely be much richer than those in the first level prize pool. Maybe you can get even more attribute points. In addition to attribute points, Su J also hopes to extract some other skills. The addition of skills to personal strength is obviously very powerful. But you still need to be strong to make iron. In last night's battle with the Western vampires, if Su J's mental attribute points were higher, the time stop time imposed on them would be longer, and everything would be more calm. He will not be mentally exhausted and his hair will become snow white. Attribute points are the foundation of everything. If you only have powerful skills without attribute points as support, it will be a rootless tree with limited effects. Jingle Bell
The ringtone of the mobile phone broke the silence of the night. Lin Shiqing stood up and picked up her mobile phone from the bedside table. It turned out to be Uncle Yi's phone number. Hey, Uncle Yi, are you okay over there in the clan? Lin Shiqing said excitedly. Since I can receive the call, it should be safe over there. I'm Dad, Zhao King. Is there anything wrong with you? I see you made a lot of phone calls. Alas, a lot of things happened in the clan these days, and I never had time to turn on my phone. Dad, how could it be you? What happened to the clan? Lin Shiqing suddenly had an ominous premonition. Those fools in the West killed many people, but we survived and we won. Now that the clan is safe, I'm thinking you can come back as soon as possible. In addition, Yi Wei might be executed. Quote, what? Lin Shiqing's expression suddenly changed. Why did you kill Uncle Yi? He couldn't have done anything bad. He didn't do anything bad. In this battle, he did his best and helped the family kill several Western vampires, which is a great contribution. But you know that once the Blood Master dies, the Blood Slave will be executed. Lin Meng died in this battle, Si Yi Wei also lost the Blood Lord's control over him. Without restraint, the family could not guarantee that he would not do something outrageous. Killing him was for the safety of the family. Quote, Lin Shiqing's body began to tremble. She bit her lips and said word by word, I don't agree. Uncle Yi shouldn't be killed. He has always been very good to me. But it is the family's iron rule to kill blood slaves who have lost their blood master. I. Dad, please save Uncle Yi, I beg you. Lin Shiqing's voice was mixed with a faint cry. Alas, Yi Wei is safe for the time being. He is trapped in the blood prison. You should come back first and talk about it later. By the way, Yi Wei also said that you captured a human being. Remember to bring that human to the family. Yi Wei said that his blood seems to be of high quality and the clan members will like it. Quote. After a pause, Lin Xiaohua continued, I still have some things to deal with. You should remember that there will be someone to pick you up on the way back to the clan. Toot, toot. The call was hung up. Lin Shiqing's eyes were confused for a while as she tried hard to digest the complicated information from her father's mouth just now. The room was very quiet, and Su Jie heard all the conversation clearly. He was secretly frightened, but he didn't expect that his clan's side would also be attacked by the Western vampires. What a bunch of desperate guys. He also sympathized with Yi Wei a little, but before sympathizing with Yi Wei, he should sympathize with himself more. If he went to the tribe as a human being, he would undoubtedly be under house arrest forever and become a blood-making machine with no freedom. But he couldn't just leave. He was already bound to Lin Shiqing. Etc. Su Jie looked at the vampire transformation, skill in his skill bar in his mind. If he pretends to be embraced by Lin Shiqing for the first time, then even if he returns to the tribe with her, he will not be sucked by other vampires. As long as you become a vampire, no one will doubt the authenticity of this matter. I also thought about other methods, but without exception, they all had many loopholes and were not feasible. The best way is to become a vampire, pretend to be Lin Shiqing's blood slave, and return to the clan together. At the same time, he can also initially integrate into the world of the vampires and learn more about this magical group. Blood Slave. Although this name doesn't sound very nice, Su Jie doesn't really care. After all, he is a false blood slave. If, like Yi Wei, he actually became a blood slave, his state of mind would be completely different. Being controlled by someone's thoughts and actions, and completely becoming a puppet. It was an abyss of great horror. Did you hear the content of the call just now? Su Jie, please go first and hide somewhere. I will come back after a while and we will see you again then. If you return to the clan land with me, you will end up miserable, and I don't have the ability to protect you at all. You will become food for the family, lose your freedom, and you will never get it back. Quote. Lin Shiqing had a determined look on her face. I will explain to my father that I killed you because you didn't cooperate. In addition, if you are short of money, I can also give you another sum. Just wait for me here in Binhai, okay? Quote. Listening to Lin Shiqing's words, Su Jie was touched. Even at such a moment, Lin Shiqing was the first to come up with a way to keep him absolutely safe. No, I will go back to my clan with you. Su Jie shook his head and said. 
Why? Lin Shiqing frowned. You are a human and you entered the vampire clan alone. Aren't you going to die? But what if I'm a vampire? As Su Jie spoke, his pupils suddenly turned red. A wave unique to the vampire clan echoed in the room. From now on, I am your blood slave and you are my blood master. We can return to our clan together. Su Jie's magnetic voice sounded. Perhaps because he became a vampire, his voice was more elegant and pleasant. In the time just now, Su Jie thought about all the situations that would happen. In the end, he discovered that the probability of death when entering the tribe's territory was less than 1%. Having become Lin Shiqing's blood slave, he will not be coveted by other tribesmen. Attacking blood slaves of the same race is a provocation and is absolutely not allowed. And he would go beyond the rules and be attacked by other tribesmen. Lin Shiqing and her parents' status in their clan seemed not too low. With their protection, Su Jie was safe. Of course, Su Jie could have stayed in Binhai. According to what Lin Shiqing said, he would be much safer. But it will be difficult for him to set foot in the vampire world in the future. Becoming a half member of an eastern vampire family will be very helpful for the future, and it will also allow Su Jie to initially establish a world view of the vampire world. Young people must dare to think and act, and it is not enough to always follow your heart. Su Jie felt longing for the clan land that Lin Shiqing mentioned. What kind of place would that be? There are many gothic castles, just like in film and television works, exuding weirdness and evil charm. It is still an oriental-style deep house compound, with numerous courtyards lined up in rows, mysterious and ancient. He will find out. After hearing Su Jie's words, Lin Shiqing's eyes changed several times. She had to agree with Su Jie's idea. Lin Shiqing knew that even if she objected, Su Jie would still not change his mind. Early the next morning, Su Jie and Lin Shiqing boarded a plane to the clan. The plane ticket was purchased by Zhou Shuemeng. As an assistant to the president of a listed company, she had top membership cards from major airlines. Although she was in a hurry, she still booked two first-class flights to Hushan. Hushan is the location of Lin Shiqing's family. Hushan is a prefecture-level city surrounded by many hills and hills with an altitude of 300 to 400 meters. These hills and hills have not been developed yet and retain their most primitive features. Although the leaders of Hushan city have repeatedly wanted to develop the surrounding mountains and forests and develop tourism, every time it came time to apply for approval, an invisible hand would block it. The cycle goes on and on, and the development plan for the mountain forest has been put on hold and has never been started. Those leaders certainly could not have imagined that the failure of the plan originated from a vampire family located in the mountains, the Lin family. After thousands of years of reproduction and development, the Lin family has long been deeply rooted in this land. Coupled with the connections and money that the clan members have gathered outside, it is easy to block a small development plan. When Su Jie sat on the plane and looked at the ground through the window, there was always a feeling that the plane he was riding in would malfunction and then fly across the ground in a vertical attitude, turning into fragments and flames. He had seen a psychiatrist before, and after telling him about his feelings, he said it was a sign of pessimism and caution. Thinking about it carefully, Su Jie really felt that it made some sense. Every time he makes up his mind to do something, he always thinks of the worst possible outcome and makes plans for it. This time when he went to Lin Shiqing's clan, the worst outcome would be death. He recorded a last message in advance and stored it in the network disk. As for the password of the network disk, his parents knew it. When Su Jie was missing for too long, they would always find the last words in the network disk. In addition to his last words, Su Jie also deposited all the money Lin Shiqing gave him to the bank card known to his parents. The total is 1,332,700 yuan. Lin Shiqing gave him the first month's pocket money, as well as the tuition for private piano lessons, and before leaving, Lin Shiqing gave him a special sum of money to prevent accidents. Su Jie took so many precautionary measures that even he wanted to laugh a little, as if he was destined to die when he went to the tribe's territory. But the chance of death is very slim, no less than being hit by a car when going out. He certainly wouldn't have made the journey if the mortality rate had been too high. I hope everything is safe. Rubbing his temples, Su Jie lay down on the comfortable seat. As a first-class cabin, not only the service is good, but also the space is spacious. 
On the right is a window, on the left is a curtain, and in front of him is a small table with a cup of steaming coffee on it. With the curtains drawn, the space is private enough. Every first-class customer is separated into cells. Nothing you do here will be seen. Lin Shiqing's seat was behind her and she was in average condition. Yi Hui's incident made her feel bad. A person who has grown up with her since childhood, already has a deep relationship with her. If Yi Wei is really executed, Su Zhejun feels that Lin Shiqing will turn dark. The plane landed at Hushan City Airport. Upon arrival, Lin Shiqing and Su Jie were picked up by a Mercedes-Benz S500. There are many peaks around Hushan City, and the clan's territory is located in the Silver Moon Mountain area. The location of the clan land is extremely secretive and inaccessible. Silver Moon Mountain is not too steep and the altitude is not too high, but there are many ferocious beasts around it, and even the top expedition teams in the country do not dare to enter it at will. Su Jie and Lin Shiqing were in the car, feeling the slight bumps. They would go all the way from the airport to Silver Moon Town at the foot of the mountain, and then follow the tribesmen stationed in the town to the tribe's territory. Lin Shiqing didn't say much in the car. She kept looking out the window and didn't know what she was thinking. During this period, Su Jie noticed that he still had one more draw. He had nothing to do during the long drive, so he decided to try his luck by drawing a prize. When Su Jie decided to click the lottery button, he suddenly felt that something was missing. After thinking about it, he realized that he missed the BGM part of this lottery. Looking around, the quiet carriage inside and outside is a bit out of place. So he took out the wire-controlled headphones from his pocket, put them on, and Su Jie started playing. Good luck to you, good luck to you. The festive sounds echoed in his ears, full of sense of ceremony, and the familiar feeling returned. Just when Su Jie was about to click the lottery button, Lin Shiqing suddenly came over. Whatever music you are listening to, I want to listen to it too. In Lin Shiqing's heart, Su Jie was considered a musical talent because he could play so many beautiful piano pieces. The music that he can listen to must be some melodious and sweet tunes. Her mood has been a little low, and she hopes to listen to some music to make her mood better. Su Jie was stunned when he heard this, and immediately handed over one of the headphones. Ha, huh, what kind of song is this? Lin Shiqing was a little surprised. The high-pitched female voice rang in her ears, as if she was on a big country stage. Good luck comes, you've never heard of it. Lin Shiqing was confused and tried to understand the rich emotions contained in, good luck comes. I have to say, her mood did feel much better. I squinted my eyes slightly, this song was a bit, magical. Obviously I feel like there's nothing particularly outstanding about it, but I still want to listen to it. It's really top-notch. Su Jie didn't expect that Lin Shiqing actually liked this song. It seemed that vulgarity equaled elegance. Lin Shiqing not only liked those elegant piano music, but she was also backwards compatible and liked this kind of rustic divine music. Su Jie immediately clicked the lottery button without any further hesitation. Ding, the draw is successful, the number of draws is minus one. Congratulations to the host for getting all attributes plus one oh. Ding, it is detected that the average host attribute value has exceeded 50, and the secondary prize pool is opened. Hosts can obtain more generous rewards through draws. Su Jie hummed as the full strength spread throughout his body. The muscles all over his body seemed to have been exposed to the rain after a long drought, and began to develop and grow crazily. The size of the muscles did not increase, but there was another leap in density. Su Jie likes his current figure very much. The muscle lines are obvious but not too distorted. He doesn't want to become a big muscle tyrant. He has no obsession with bodybuilding. He just hopes to strengthen his body while maintaining a relatively coordinated figure. Good luck is still playing in my ears. The reward I drew this time is already regarded as the European Emperor. Can your luck really improve if you turn on BGM? Su Jie finally understood why when watching the live broadcast, the anchors would play BGM during the lottery. A festive BGM can indeed increase the explosion rate and make it easier to ship. It's not enough to always live on the bottom line. Look at the personal UI interface. Host. Su Jie. Strength, 51, Spirit, 53, Speed, 52, Defense, 49, Skills, 
Time Stop Elementary Transformation into a Vampire Although the defense has not yet reached 50 points, the remaining attribute values have all exceeded 50, and the average value has reached over 51 points. What will be in the secondary prize pool? It is still unknown who he is now, but according to the information just revealed by the system, there should be some unexpected surprises. Other people's systems are dedicated to helping the host solve problems. It's better for you. In addition to issuing mission rewards, there are also some key nodes. You usually ignore me no matter how you contact me. Comparing system to system is really infuriating. Quote. Su J secretly complained that his system was good everywhere, but it was just a boring gourd. He needed to explore all the rules by himself. But having a system is already good. Thinking of this, he felt satisfied. Nearly two hours later, Su J and Lin Shiqing arrived at Silver Moon Town. Arriving at Silver Moon Town is just the beginning. This is the foot of the mountain, and the time it takes to enter the mountain and truly enter the clan is really long. There are about 30 kilometers of mountain roads to walk, and it is rugged and accompanied by ferocious beasts. It will take at least five or six hours to reach the location of the tribe. This was not the first time that Lin Shiqing returned to her clan, but it was true that she had not been back for a long time. They got off the car, and Lin Shiqing was a little surprised. It was ten years ago that they left. In these ten years, Silver Moon Town has changed a lot. Amid the traffic and traffic, there was a bustle of people. Silver Moon Mountain is rich in various herbal medicines. These herbs have turned Silver Moon Town into a herbal medicine market, and many drug dealers will come to purchase them. The herbal medicine business in the town can be considered part of the Lin family's interests, but the herbal medicine business is just a cover. Behind the scenes, they used high wages to defraud some young and strong laborers, but in the end they put them under house arrest in the clan area and extracted them regularly, of blood. The main source of food for the vampire clan is human blood. For thousands of years, the Lin family has had so much blood on their hands for this matter. But this is like humans hunting animals. In the eyes of most vampires, humans are food and will not have any additional feelings for them. There have been instances in history where vampires and humans combined, but in the eyes of vampires, this behavior is a manifestation of depravity and a violation of themselves. Ms. Lin, you can get off the car. Someone will take you into the mountain below. The driver turned his head and said slowly. Lin Shiqing nodded when she heard this, and then got out of the car with Su Jie. The infrastructure in Silver Moon Town is pretty good, with hotels and B&Bs all available. In the eyes of the locals, this is a good place to make money, but in the eyes of the Lin family, this is just a breeding ground. At the beginning of every month, there will be more or less disappearances in Silver Moon Town, but because they are all outsiders, they have never been taken seriously. Even if they call the police, the police want to follow up and investigate, but in the end they will leave it alone. Naturally, the Lin family suppressed the matter forcefully. On the surface, the Lin family has always shown itself to be a charitable person. He will provide many job opportunities and has a good reputation in the local area. Winning people's hearts with benefits is the consistent style of the Lin family. Su Jie got out of the car and observed that he was now in a parking lot. Outside the parking lot, there are two buildings with more than 20 floors. One of them should be a hotel, and the other should be used for office and business. Zhao King. A male voice came from a distance, attracting the attention of Su Jie and Lin Shiqing. It was a middle-aged man with pale skin and a beard. He opened his arms and showed a hearty smile. Uncle Tai. Lin Shiqing's face suddenly lit up and she ran towards the middle-aged man. Su Jie heard Lin Shiqing introduce that this middle-aged man should be Lin Tai, Lin Shiqing's uncle, and he has taken great care of Lin Shiqing since he was a child. Zhao King. We haven't seen each other for ten years, right? I heard from your father that you have entered adulthood, and as expected, you have really grown into a big girl. The two hugged each other after a long separation, even though ten years is not a long time in the Blood Clan's time scale, only three or four months as a human being. Su Jie did not step forward. He stood in the distance and silently watched their conversation. He is analyzing Lin Tai. You can basically tell what kind of person a person is from his appearance. Lin Tai was slovenly and looked a bit weathered. His smile was very friendly and he didn't seem to have any scheming. Based on preliminary analysis, he should be a straightforward man. 
This was Su Jie's first impression of him, and of course it cannot be ruled out that he was pretending. Su Jie will have to further analyze Lin Tai's words and deeds in the future. Know yourself and the enemy, and you can fight a hundred battles without danger. Su Jie is walking on thin ice in the Lin clan, so it is always right to be careful. After Lin Tai and Lin Xiqing chatted for a few words, they noticed Su Jie not far away. This is, Lin Tai hesitated and looked at Lin Xiqing with questioning eyes. He noticed the fluctuations of the blood clan from Su Jie's body. But it was obvious that Su Jie was definitely not from the family. Is it a foreign clan? Thoughts surged for a moment, and Lin Tai's eyes flickered. Uncle Tai, this is Su Jie, my, blood slave. Lin Xiqing looked at Su Jie and introduced. Blood slave, Lin Tai looked surprised, when did you first have a baby? I never heard from your father. Besides, you have just reached adulthood and you have a baby at this time. Have you really thought about it? The first embrace is not an easy thing. It requires the vampire to inject their own essence and blood into the human body in order to complete the first embrace. The amount of essence and blood consumed by the first embrace is not a small amount, and it will even cause a certain degree of regression in strength. Uncle Tai, my first love is my own business. I haven't told my father yet, but I will explain it to him after returning to the clan. Lin Xiqing explained. You, well, you are too impulsive. Having a baby at such a young age will affect your future potential. Lin Tai clearly felt that Lin Xiqing's aura was a little sluggish, which should be the sequelae of her first love. What he didn't know was that Lin Xiqing's weakening aura was caused by the battle with the two western vampires the night before yesterday, not her first love. This was also part of the plan. The first embrace had a great impact on the body. If Lin Xiqing was completely fine, then it would be difficult to believe that she had embraced Su Jie for the first time. If you want to make something that doesn't exist convincing, you must pay attention to logic and details. Before coming to Silver Moon Town, Su Jie had rehearsed the whole thing in his mind countless times. While making up for many loopholes, he also added many new variables. Since I am your blood slave, let's go back to the clan with you, but I'm sure your father will be very angry. Lin Tai shook his head and acquiesced to Su Jie's existence. In Silver Moon Town, there are two herbal medicine companies, both of which are owned by the Lin family. Lin Tai is the general manager of one of the herbal medicine companies, Shintai Pharmaceutical. In addition to being responsible for some herbal medicine business, he is also mainly responsible for collecting the daily blood needed and dealing with some people who get in the way. Shintai Pharmaceutical's herbal medicine business is just a front. All the top executives of this company are vampires. They work together and do many shady things for the Lin family. When Lin Tai came over, he drove a Maybach S480, which is the latest model this year. The black body has a golden luster in the sunset. We will set off at 9 o'clock tonight. It will take a total of 2 or 3 hours to return to the clan. During this period, we may encounter some ferocious beasts. I will deal with them. Zhao King, you and your blood slaves should follow me closely. When Su Jie and Lin Xiqing got into the car and sat down, Lin Tai asked in a deep voice the details of returning to the clan tonight. Lin Xiqing nodded while listening. After talking about returning to the tribe, Lin Xiqing couldn't help but ask about the attack by the western vampires a few days ago. Uncle Tai, my dad said those western vampires are here again. How is the situation of the family this time? Lin Tai was silent for a while after hearing this, and then sighed. More than ten clan members died. Those western vampire clans are all lunatics. They attacked desperately. We tried our best to stop them, and the clan territory was temporarily defended. Among the more than ten clan members who died, there was your aunt Lin Mang. She loved you the most back then and even let her blood slaves take care of you. It has been nearly two hundred years now, right? Quote. Su Jie's mind moved. Uncle Tai's reference to Lin Meng's blood slave should be referring to Yi Wei. Uncle Tai, I heard from my dad that Aunt Lin Meng's blood slave, Uncle Yi Wei, who has been taking care of me, will be executed, right? Yes, once the blood master dies, the blood slave must be killed. This is an iron rule that the family has followed for thousands of years. No, Uncle Yi Wei has made so many contributions to the family, why should he be killed? This is unfair, Lin Xiqing said excitedly. Uncle Tai, 
please talk to the elders of the family, they will consider letting Uncle Yi Wei go. Zhao King, it's not that I don't want to help you. These are the rules. Do you understand what the rules are? No one can break the rules. Lin Tai shook his head, the family has been like this for thousands of years. It's always been like this, right? Lin Xiqing said word by word. Lin Tai was speechless for a moment. I don't know if it's right or not, but it makes sense to execute the blood slaves. Without the control of the blood master, they are likely to cause chaos. The family also considers their safety. Lin Xiqing stopped talking. She leaned on her seat, feeling weak for a while. Su Jie would not talk too much under such circumstances. He wanted to be an honest, blood slave, and not be noticed by anyone. Before you have sufficient strength, acting rashly is seeking death. He immediately turned his attention to the window and observed the situation in the entire Silver Moon town. Among all kinds of people, many are here for tourism. As a tourist attraction, Silver Moon Town is qualified. There are many B&Bs and landscapes with local customs, as well as specialty restaurants and shops everywhere. Lin Tai's car was driving on the main road of Yinyu Town. Because it was a weekend and the passenger flow was heavy, the main road was somewhat congested, so that the car kept stopping and going and could not pick up the speed. Silver Moon Town is not a big place, and at a speed of less than 30 km per hour, Lin Tai's car drove to the edge of the other side in less than half an hour. They will rest temporarily and wait until nightfall before setting off again. Night is the home court of the vampires. When the moonlight is shrouded, no matter what kind of ferocious beast it is, it will not pose the slightest threat. It makes sense for the Lin family to set up their clan in Silver Moon Mountain, where ferocious beasts are infested. No one can easily reach the depths, which saves them a lot of trouble. Now that online media is so developed, if one day the tribe is broadcast live by an outdoor anchor, things will be difficult to control. Let's go get some food first. Walking at night consumes a lot of energy. Zhao King, you just finished having for the first time and you are in a bad state. Remember to take a good rest for a while. Lin Tai specially warned. The Lin family built a villa in Silver Moon Town near the mountain entrance as a resting place for the clan members. Outside this residential area, there is a black steel fence of more than 4 meters and equipped with an electric grid. The villa area is covered with locust trees. Looking from the outside in, you can only see a few dark exterior walls. Zhao King, a group of human slaves with good physiques have recently arrived. Their blood tastes good. If you try it later, you will definitely like it. Lin Tai said with a smile. Lin Xiqing nodded and then looked at Su Jie. That look seems to be saying, no matter how delicious it is, can it be as good as yours? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.